Waiting on you, Jakey. Are we live? All right, prepare to witness a feat, the likes of which you have rarely, if ever, seen unless you worked at a company that assembles PCs. So, basically what's, what's shaken tonight is we're having our first ever games night here in the Linus Media Group Lounge. And uh, here, here, come on a little closer, Andy. We see we've got all these board games over here, but like I was playing some Anno 1800 last night and I was like, you know what would be really cool is if we could do the actual LAN party at the games night tomorrow too. And so it was the afternoon and I was kind of sitting there going, you know, I've actually done pretty much all the videos that I need to do for this week. Maybe I could go chip away at some of the, uh, some of the computers that we have to build. And then I got to thinking, what do I even employ all these people for? Let me do a quick, uh, like, wh why am I going to build all the computers myself? That's, that's absurd. Nah, dog. So I have recruited 10 helpers. So we've got Alex Clark. We've got Ed Zoliago. We've got Colton Potter. Sippy P. James Stride. Dennis, I don't know what his last name is. I can't pronounce it. <laughs> David Gautier. We've got Matthias, who you've actually never met before. Technically, he's on probation and he's not allowed, but his probation's going real good, so it's unlikely he's going to get like canned. So good job, Matthias. Uh, and also Anthony, who you all know. So we are going to work together to try and get this entire land center from piles of parts to completely finished gaming rigs in time to play games on them tonight. Uh, does anybody need a screwdriver? Yeah. Okay, uh, I have an iFixit kit. Jake, just for anyone who doesn't already know, uh, what is the penalty for losing a bit from one of Linus's screwdriver kits? How would you know who lost it? It's death. It's death. So, okay, uh, who wants it? Yeah, I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. All right, there you go. There you go. And I got. I've Anyone want uh, one of the. It's not the snap. It's their budget. It's not snap on, but it's the same thing. I'll brand. take that. You'll take that one. Will you lose any bits? No, maybe. <laughs> um, all right, uh, you want to do the knife, James? Yeah, throw that knife at me. Uh, don't do that. It's closed. Uh, that was flawless. It's yeah, closed. Worthy. Fine. All right. So, uh, this whole thing is brought to you guys by Seasonic. So Seasonic oh, are the ones who sent over their completely overkill prime titanium, 1,000 watt, 80 plus titanium modular power supplies for these rigs. These things are freaking BA, and they're completely overkill for the specs that we're using. But um, Seasonic sponsoring the project, and that's what they wanted to send. And I wasn't going to be like. Oh, oh, heck no, man. I don't want no 1,000 watt, 80 plus titanium. Send me something worse. So that's, that's, what, that's what we got. So massive shout out to those guys. You can check them out at the link in the video description. Um, let's go ahead and get started. So the main plan is for Alex Clark to be kind of our caller for, um, for chair assembly. Are you ready to rock on that? Yep. Because, yeah, guys, we don't just have to build the rigs. Uh, we also have to actually assemble the desks that they're going to go on and the chairs that our butts are going to go in. So we've got, uh, is this the one that you just finished, Matthias, right here? So we've got two desks ready to go. One we're using as a staging area for the chairs and the other one that's just on standby right now. So I guess the best thing for us to start with is uh, anyone who's not really doing something right now, raise hands. Okay, uh, David, Dennis, Ed, Anthony, and Colton. Oh, are you do doing something. You're doing something? All right. Uh, so the rest of you, Alex is going to get you guys started on chair assembly. So I'm going to help you guys get set up with all the pieces you need. Oh, man. Keeping this organized with this Motley crew is not going to be simple. So we're, we're doing our best. So each LAN PC has a box that all the boxes for the parts are going to go in so we can keep everything kind of organized. The problem is that... The, the thing about systems is that they tend to take up a lot of space. So each of our chair assemblers needs to find a spot kind of on the floor here, I think, sure. where you're not in Matthias's way um, and you're not in the way of the parts that are over there. So David, what else do you need? I can bring you everything you need. Uh, so you need the rest of one of these boxes, right? Okay, so here's the rest of a box. Uh, you also need this piece yes. and the star bottom, right? Yes. Okay, I got you, fam. Go, uh, go ahead and uh, 
get started. So, Are Alex, all the chair uh, yeah, we're getting all the pieces of the chairs here. And then, um, do you guys want to just use your own instructions, or Alex, are you going to guide everyone? You kind of started without them. Well, I don't know. All right, we're going to go on it by ourselves. We got this. Is there... It's a lot I, faster I if you use a drill, and we only have I one. Have we only have one drill? Well, we only have one of these guys. Oh. Uh, okay, so um, is there anything that they can prep for you, though? Uh, probably the best thing would be the wheels. Okay, so never mind. You guys are not doing what I said you were doing. You're so gonna, place, yeah, uh, you're gonna put wheels. Okay, so Alex needs a helper. Anthony, you're Alex's helper. Okay. And then Ed, Dennis, and David, you guys are putting wheels on bases okay. and, um, and cylinders on the other end of the bases. Sure. All your bases are belong to Actually, you. someone, two people can go. Once I'm done with that, they can put the, this base onto there. Okay. Got it. I can do that. Right. So can do that. Is that Phillips' head? No, um, that one. All right. No problem. So what you need to do? Um, Anthony, you are Alex's helper. Yes, I guess. Thank you. Uh, what are the two, um, what are the three tapered screws for? Um, they're for the dummies that go on the side. Okay, got it. So I leave oh, those for now. Oh, we just, we just, yeah, and then at the end we can kind of just assembly line all of those at once. Now there's five of these big ones. What's the deal with that? Um, I don't know. It says in the instruction manual oh, that only four, okay. so I think we just have a spare. Oh, okay, cool. And do we know which way this goes? Uh, Great question. Okay, Anthony, can you find that out? Okay, there we go. I'm going to guess for now, and we're going to see how that goes for us. I actually think it probably goes the other way. Uh, it definitely does go the other way. Okay, cool. Well, that worked out really well so far. I'll play around. Um, so while I'm doing this, I can actually walk you guys through sort of how this project came to be. Uh, basically, we expanded into this additional unit here with the intent of using it all for storage. And then um, we actually got another one, as you guys probably saw in the Gamers Nexus tour. Um, really good tour. You guys should go check that out for sure. Steve and his team did a great job. Um, so we expanded into another unit. That's going to be storage. And now this one, we decided to do something more fun with. So we're turning about half of it into an employee lounge full of like game stuff and gaming rigs and all that good stuff. So I think, sorry, what's that? No, I don't think you legally need an employee lounge. After a certain number, you do? I don't think so, actually, James. I'm... Anyway, that's not why we did it. So we did it because we think we should, but whatever. Um, so anyway, I can use this opportunity, though, to uh, walk through with you guys uh, what kind of systems we're putting together for this and also give a massive shout out to everyone who provided hardware for this endeavor. Um, so we're starting, of course, with the chairs. Um, actually, Maxnomic chairs were the first chair company that I ever did a review of, and I loved that chair so much that uh, it is still my daily driver chair now. I absolutely love their chairs. Just really, really nice construction, um, especially in just like the sea of kind of crummy gaming chairs that are out there. Um, really a fan of just the nice high quality foam that they use. Like you can't feel the boards or the bars or anything like that in the seats. And they also do a bunch of really cool stuff now that they didn't do before, like check this out. So we've got LTT logos on all of the chairs that they did up for the land center here, which is pretty freaking sick. Those look so sweet. Yeah, they look really good. Actually, uh, hey Jake, do you remember if the, uh, the pillows are also LTT logoed? No. no, they're not, or you don't remember? They're not, okay. Uh, can someone get me a gas cylinder to put this, uh, put this chair on? Yeah. Or I guess I could do it. Nope, David can do it. Right. Remember, we also need the shroud for it, though. Oh boy. This is, so is kind of chaos. I believe so. Okay. Uh, does okay. it go in that way? Actually, it's the most organized thing we've ever done. Is that right? Yeah. I'm is that right? Okay, cool. <laughs> Can you uh, guide, guide me in, David? <laughs> oh. Hey, hey, you know? All right. Oh, you forgot the chum. The chum. The chum. The chum. Oh, yeah, we need that. Hey, let's try again. 
Guide me in again, David. OK. Are we good? Is it assembled? OK, because once I sit on it, it's not coming off. OK, cool. Ah. Excellent. Uh, I'll take a handle, or I'll take a side thing. Yes, I'll take a side thing. All right. Oh, yeah, so right, I said I was going to go through everyone who provided hardware and the specs of all of these rigs, because they've actually changed a couple of times. Um, funny story, we were going to go with Intel machines at first, and then um, we had some trouble getting our hands on chips. As you guys may or may not be aware, Intel's had a bit of a, a, bit of a shortage situation on their 14 nanometer processors. So um, they weren't able to get any of those over to us. So AMD stepped in, and we actually did an entire video um, talking about the difference in performance between AMD and Intel for gaming. And while for some games in particular it was quite noticeable, uh, what we observed was that at the refresh rate and resolution that we're going to be playing at, it actually doesn't matter. And that uh, leads me to a question, Matthias, what happened to the monitors? And have they sent the right ones yet? As far as I know, they have not. <laughs> Are you saying that we don't have any monitors for our gaming system? Possibly. Um, Wait, who, who is sending them? Asus. Oh, OK. I've got backup monitors. You've got backup monitors? I've got exactly 10 of them. Do you now? But they might not be Asus. Um, <laughs> oh, that's awkward. Um, <laughs> we have the old ones still? We have the old oh, ones still? Hey. Oh, okay. We might have to we might have to crack open the old ones. Uh, did you put that side piece on? Oh, oh. I think there's a screw in this. One. Yeah, there's a screw. Oh, yeah. That's fine. I've got the screw. I okay. thought maybe it was in. So you're putting on the bottom handle? Sort of. I kind of feel too simple to do it. Yeah. Uh, these side ones are kind of hard to put on too, actually. That's not the greatest experience I've ever had, but hey, once they're assembled, they're great. Dang it! I gotta. Screw this in. Well, uh, Andy, you can go around and visit other people. You know what? I'll run through everyone who sent over hardware in a little bit. Uh, oh man, this is this is not going in easy. Oh, you know what? That's good. Isn't good enough. Okay. So is this the? Is this done? I think there is something missing. No, no, that's right. It's not supposed. But then the back is. That's the other side. Oh. oh, the back, yeah, the back is there. Yep. Yeah. The, there you go. Uh, so this is the like this button. OK. OK. And then we just need one more of those handles for the uh, gas lift. OK. Boom. Uh, I also feel like I don't know how this works. I think it, it goes How far on is it supposed to go? You're stronger than me. You go ahead. I'll, I'll brace the chair. You got it? Yeah. Oh, it is going. It's going? A little bit more, yeah. Yeah, that looks right. Yeah, that looks right. I think that's on. And then I'll just do this side, I guess. Show me. Okay. Oh. I'll brace. You push. Okay, okay cool. What's that? Complete. Complete chair. Should we move the. Yeah. Yeah, let's get him out of here. Let's get okay. Oh, this rolls out real nice. Wow. How many kilometers on this thing? Look at that. What's that? <laughs> How many miles are on this puppy? This is, uh, whew, this is mint. Oh, right over the bump and everything. Bye bye. Turn up your audio level on this camera. Perfect. Thank you, sir. I was just about to start this one. Oh, really? Hey! Do you want to hit me with those screws? Ah! Yeah, sure. They're stapled. Oh, done. Oh, okay. I'll go check. Uh, hey Jake, do we have any super chats or anything that we should reply to? Uh, ah, I don't know. I do. Do you want to grab my laptop? It's in my backpack right next to me. We can use that to monitor the stream. So your mic can't be on at the same time as that one. As which one? This one. Oh, he what? Echo. Oh, really? So, yeah. Right now it's just that mic. It's just that mic. When you want to do a video, oh, okay. I'll let you know. Okay. Just broke something. Go see what they're doing.
Dennis, what'd you do? Okay, why you don't hit the chair, Dennis? Linus, where's your laptop? Oh. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Wait, 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 I can't do it. I can't do it. Oh my god. Why? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna take this off, Dennis. Hold on, hold on. Don't hit it, don't hit it! No, I'm gonna pull it back. Don't, don't. I got it. Don't hold you, don't. Alright. What do you mean? Put me on the spot, why don't you? Oh, yeah. just Col like... Colton's gotta tell you some more stuff about Max and on the camp. Oh my gosh, <laughs> dude! Yeah. Um... So, oh, sure. Maxonomic, they're great. They've got a selection guide that helps customers to find the right chair based on height and weight. Really Lines are talking to the embroidery service. And they have bulk deals available for businesses that you can check out. And you can learn more at lmg.gg slash Maxonomic. Nice. Go nice. get them. Go get them. Colton, we will make, a, we will make a, a video presenter out of you yet. I know, right? Just Here kidding. Go, oh. Oh! oh. oh. Wow! Boom! Roasted! Uh, Colton, can you guide me in here? Uh, wow. Okay. Sure. Wow. Sounds like a lot to ask for. Back one. Back one? Back what? Oh, back. No, pointing to the other Yeah, the back one. Not you want us to put the piston into the chair first, and then... Do I have the piston right way? So, the backwards. Oh, yeah. Yeah, reverse. Oh. Did we do it wrong? Yeah. No, you're just well, is it in? Yeah, that's All it. right, then. But then I think you turn it into a one-person job. Oh, I see. Oh, you turn a one-person job into a two-person job. What do we have as people? <laughs> what are we doing? We're putting those on the sides. Okay. We're putting yeah. these handles on the bottom. Sure. And I'm coming to get Anthony set up right here. Okay, here we go. Okay, but where's I got the it. actual... Boom. Okay. I thought Alex had, like, oh. the instructions. Where did this lock nut come from? Or lock washer come from? What's Possibly going on? Loose? Yeah, definitely that. Yeah. Okay, cool. Well, I'm just drilling. Instructions. If you're like passing anything, I'm like, what? Okay. I don't think I even have the right stuff, bro. And that goes. Uh, is that in? It comes with one too many. Just yep. so you know, yeah, it comes with an extra. Which is kind of nice, actually. I appreciate that. Okay, so that is one. I can help you put these in. Two. We can put the movies aside for Okay, these chairs are kind of starting to come along here. I think we're going to have three done shortly. And then we're going to have another. Uh, well, however many. Uh, Colton, do you mind if I move you over a little bit? Yeah, dude. You're going to go here. Sure. Wow. Yeah. Did, I, did I drop that? Oh, yeah. Go get it. Okay, cool. Oh, good. Uh, okay, so you need a gas base, Anthony. Here we go. Yes, I do. I also need... I guess nothing to pull in the gas base, man. Yeah, should be good. You want to guide me in? Yeah, you bet. Just uh, adjust the angle towards you a little, yeah. and keep going towards you, towards you, towards you, and we should be on there. And one, two, three, hop. That's on. Okay, so uh, Colton, when you're, do you want to be the guy who does these side bits and handles? I know. Yeah, sure. Okay, cool. Yeah. Are you reading instructions for how to do them? Yeah, I was. I was trying to see. This said uh, the only thing I don't have right now. Okay. This is me. This is you need a friend. I don't. I don't have any. I don't have that. <laughs> okay, so you take this, yeah. and you put it on there. Yeah, but isn't there a actual you take like, that screw, screw for it? Yeah, this yeah okay, got it. Yeah, that's what right I'm, yeah. there, and you put it in yeah, there. Yeah, got it. And then you do the same on the other side, perfect. and then these handles, yeah, they just go, you just pop them on. Bam, sounds good. Yeah, perfect. I don't need instructions anymore. Yeah, 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 here, that's fine. Uh, no, 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 no. Okay, we want to keep Whoops. organized, organized, everyone. Okay. Uh, all right. Here comes some screws. Anything, sir. And a one. And a two. How's everybody doing here, you guys? So excited. Doing Excellent. Great? Yep. So what game are we gonna play first? Because we gotta choose like just the right game to press in the land center with. Worms are getting worms are getting. Worms are getting. <laughs> Oh, He's four by three. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I will be the test like, the crap out of it. Yeah, we'll be the test right now. Maybe we should stream or something tonight. Stream on the Linus Tech. 
Fair. Stream on the Linus Tech channel after uh, after Wan Show. Is that a Wan Show after party technically? I, it could be, yeah. I bet Luke would be down to play. Yeah. After party. It's been a while, actually. So guys, uh, whenever Andy comes around, just give him a little like update about how things are going and what you're doing. I'm just standing here for now. Oh, there, 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 there. What you told me did not help me at all. Uh, I need to what? You're not able to put that thing in? Yeah, I don't understand where the screw actually goes. I okay, pull on. Uh, oh, I Help me help hold it. Okay. This thing? What are you having trouble with? And then the screw. Am I putting them on the wrong spot? What do you, what do you do? Yes. Look, dude, okay. I just want to push this thing on. This thing? Yep. Okay, here. Yep. It goes. Yeah? Where does the screw go? The screw goes in the hole. Yeah, but then how does it actually it's attach? It's a sticker, Colton. It's a, it's just a sticker. There's a hole there. Oh. <laughs> Why would you put, okay, look. Okay, I'm done. Got it. He's really, really good at other stuff. <laughs> what, what are you talking about? What stuff? Get he, out of here. No, he's really good at other stuff. I swear. Really, really good. good. Wait, the one good. behind you? Uh, this one right here? Behind you. Uh, no, it needs the side bits. Oh, uh, that's Colton's job? Uh, you want to help him? No, no I'm good, good. <laughs> There's definitely. Uh, okay, I can help him. Here. Thank uh, you. All right. We're kind of we're kind of getting this figured out. Man, these chairs. It's like the thing about assembling a chair is it doesn't really take very long, but even a short job times ten takes a long time. You know? You know what I'm saying? You okay, Anthony? You dead? Uh, yeah, I got a. Where did these all go? It's plastic. Oh they man, you gotta, you have to, you have to fill out the thing. <laughs> it's important. Ow. We yeah, have like a thing that you have to fill out when you get cut at work. Huh? Everyone, be careful and try not to get cut. It's gonna slow us down. <laughs> That's the only reason. Uh, also because I care. <laughs> Production. Man, that went deep. Oh. Hey, isn't it cool that they come with these little plastics? Uh, that's a putter actually. Sorry, that's a bad joke. Huh. Here, here, here. Oh, man. Yeah, screw it. First blood. Oh, I really did first blood. Okay, that's not an achievement for this. No first blood achievement. <laughs> Uh, James, I'm just about done with this one, but I actually have a really hard time putting the bottom handles on. Me too! Uh, do you think you can help me with that? It requires a little bit more arm strength. Than How do you do that? Where do they go? They go on the bottom handles. Oh, in there. Yeah. What the hell? You just have to jam them on there. It's pretty tough. Oh. Dang it. Thank you. Is that it? I think. Jay, uh, Jake, does anyone care about this? This stream. Uh, 13,000 people. 13, people are watching. 15. 15. Hey, guys. Cool. I promise we're going to get to the PCs as soon as humanly possible. That's the part that we're looking forward to, too. Actually, once I'm finished putting this chair together, maybe I'll walk you guys through the PCs that we're building. Because they're some pretty sick, uh, some pretty sick rigs, actually. All right. Mine does work. Nice. So, James. Uh, oh, here, I'll do this one. How does this? Ah, oh, I can't see in the hole. It's dark. It's scary. I don't know if this thing works, man. Do we have a mallet? You got? Oh, we do. You have a simple. Doesn't do anything. Boom! You're done, chair. Oh, let me wheel it out. You like that, that chair? Oh, it likes it. Oh yeah, it likes it. Okay. Guys, uh, this is the new way to uh, put the handles on the chairs. Take that stuff off. New and improved. Okay. These round tables are cool. So that one's good to go. Excuse me. Uh, how many chairs are we done, James? Two. Two? Yes. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> hey. I feel like parts of this assembly line are not as efficient. Um, no. Yeah, the parts no. without the drill, maybe? Yeah, yeah, Alex. It's easy to point at others 
and when you when you point at someone else, three fingers point back. I'm sorry that I use technology. That's why I did a four finger point. <laughs> four finger point. <laughs> four finger point. <laughs> Jake, are we good? Uh, is this yeah. good? That's good. Yeah. What do you do with your okay. thumb, though? So I here's also the other way that we could do this. Of course. JC. James. Yeah. Want to help me uh, put the finishing touches on this one? Where's the handle thing? I don't know. Okay. I, Maybe I can uh, just here's, uh, here's the box of stuff that came with that, I guess. Hey. Office. All right. All right. All right, some more screws. Oh, here, at, uh, here at Linus Media Group, we sticks. all wear different hats, you know? <laughs> <laughs> you got to do different things. Yeah. Oh, are you uh, like the new LTT hat? Are you pimping the new LTT hat? Actually, I think that's live on the store right now. Boom. So we've got three LTT. different colors. Um, we've got black. Um, make sure. Make sure you put your initials in it, though. There's a blue one. Make sure you put your initials in it, though, because people are gonna be wearing these, trying to steal yours. Uh, oh yeah, Alex has the red one if you want to go check it out, Andy. Hi. So that's on LTTSlow.com right now. Those are available. It's kind of a maroon or a burgundy. Yeah. I don't know, what would you call it? Burgundy? Burgundy. burgundy. Yeah. Uh, burgundy sure. Yeah. sure, it's a burgundy. Burgundy. I'm not like a color expert. Do you remember those uh, bases again? Uh, yes. Right. Actually, why don't you just like, throw them all over here? You got the mallet, right James? Yes. We're, like, there's a, there's a mallet system for that now. Just uh, maybe not when I'm outlining the screw. Okay, I'm good. Go ahead. You're gonna have to heave it. I'll heave on it. Just give her. Well, the other one I just did without a mallet. No. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, okay. Just a tap will do. The one I had just now was really hard. Put in. Is there a handle on each side? Yep. So here, if we just turn it around, then I can do There's my a, side. Not a screw here still. I'm sorry. There's a screw on the seat. Yep, that's fine. That's for me. Ugh. Some of these don't pop on real well. In Colton's defense, when he couldn't figure this out, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. some of them really are a little bit tricky. I don't know if it does anything. What is that supposed to do? Uh, it uh, locks or unlocks the bottom, the base okay. tilt. I think it's on there. Yeah, so that stupid thing, that the stupid button Karen always presses on the chairs, oh. that's the one. There's no one else in the company who locks them as far as I know. Do you? Well, you're both, you're both weird. Karen. How about this? James! Alright. Oh man. Okay. Another one, one down. Yay! Uh, one down. Is that one done? Yes. Woo! We Ooh. just doubled it. What about this one? Is this one done? Uh, yes. Like you, you don't sound very Who confident. put this together? I don't remember. Yeah, why are there a bunch <laughs> of screws still? Uh oh. Uh oh. Can I have the screws? Guys. I think the base might not be on it. Guys. What? I don't. Oh no, it is. I need some screws. I don't know. You guys are killing me here. Uh, Wait, this is not the first chair. This is the first chair. Yeah. What? No. No, 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 there's chairs out there. That one's missing a wheel. <laughs> this one's missing a wheel. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> <laughs> I, got, I, got, I got the wheel. I found the wheel. <laughs> Here's more screws. Thank you. Piston and uh, um, okay. And I've actually got a few more. We, we should have a lot of extras because there's yeah, so I many chairs. I'm actually currently working with extra screws, so. Yeah. All right, there you go. Excuse me, why can't you? Okay. okay. So I'm going to start putting gas cylinders on these. Actually, Ed, if I transport Two gas cylinders to you, can you put them on? Yeah. Uh, wait. And the one. Oh, did you catch that? Okay. Yep. <laughs> okay. Good work. That was not well handed. Um. Oh boy. Oh crap. Fine. Stop this. Okay. And a two. And this is like a giant game of overcut. Overcut? <laughs> yes. I think we this lost a couple hours ago. Totally reminds me of Overcooked. We got Actually, live done. No. Oh. I, I was playing Overcooked last night. That's great. On PC? Uh, 
Of course on PC, sir. What? Uh, yeah, I was playing with my son. Friend? He was actually surprisingly functional in the game. <laughs> That's what he said about you. <laughs> okay, James, the roast is over. I don't know where we're at. Uh, we're out of... Oh, oh this one doesn't have feet on it. No no wheels. Wheels, I guess. Uh, this is what I'm looking for here. There's no wheels in any of these boxes. Are we short a set of wheels? Uh, there must be wheels around somewhere. Well, that is the theory, but here we are. The box is over oh, here. more wheels uh, here. Here, 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 here. You guys got more wheels? Heck yeah. Need screws. Okay, if you guys are... Do you need screws? Oh, yeah. sure. I got screws for you, David. Here. That's screws for days. I don't think that's in though. No. Did you build that other chair that was missing the foot? Yeah. No, I did not. No, 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 no. no. Did I build it? I did not. Someone did that. There we go. That's in. In hindsight, doing this on the floor would have been a lot easier. There. No. That's still not it. Okay. There. I think you did build the one with the missing no, I, foot. Okay, just push it. <laughs> oh! Let's build some PCs. Yeah, I know, I want to build computers too. I need a shirt that says I'd rather be building computers. Yeah. We should do a That's shirt a that says item. I'd rather be building computers. That's a merch item right there. That's how it happens, ladies and gentlemen. Lightning strikes. It came to him in a dream. This is not what my dream looks like. Me and a bunch of guys on our knees on the floor. I'm not even <laughs> sure. Are you assembled? No, I said it was my dream job. Anthony, are you assembled? I don't know. I'm pretty uh, sure that like somebody what? A bunch of dudes built. Oh, I'm not, I'm not fully assembled. Okay. okay. I will be so, shortly. Well, I mean, this was my idea. I guess. So is this one done? Oh, oh this one. Oh, sorry. Oh, this one needs two more. Need one more. Oh, and then two for the. Yeah, Oops, oh, sorry. Uh, there should be one more. Okay. Yeah, also the side. Side. Okay. Hi. This is kind of uncomfortably close. I'm just putting screws in a chair. Nothing super interesting is happening. But, uh, How are you doing there, Alex? I'm doing pretty good. Yeah. I don't know if that one's close. Okay, wonderful. Stop! Faces. Boom. All right. Okay. This one's up. Uh, actually, we can do the handles for this one. Uh, I have chair side. Put those on, sir. Paddle. You want handles? Do you want handles too? He wants everything. Paddle. Dennis, he's insatiable. He's insatiable, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. So this goes this way. Where's the mallet? I need the mallet for this. Oh, James has the mallet. Hey, James, can you mallet me, please? Um, in a minute. Do we need, oh, do you need a side? Uh, okay, yeah, for this one we do. Okay. What are the screws that go into the sides? The long ones? Yeah. Uh, they're yeah. the, uh, the pointy ones. Um. All right, handles. Uh, yeah, there you go. Okay, this one needs right. these. Do you have a Phillips head? Uh, I do not. Where did my screwdriver go? The Allen key has a Phillips head. Yeah, that's really inefficient, oh. though. Yeah, I had my. Is that my screwdriver? No, it's mine. <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah. Thanks, Jake. Uh, <laughs> that was a for me. Yeah, that's probably yours. Okay. Whoops. Whoa, are we almost on the chairs? Okay. Gentlemen? Yes. Oh. Can I borrow that? I don't know if you're putting the handles on all the way, James. Oh. Oh, those are going all the way in. Yeah, you gotta give her. Well, they're functional, oh. anyway. Do these need to be uh, uh, Oh, this is just ours. Yeah. Uh, it seems that it's a good one screwdriver. Uh, what? What's the line I'm looking for? Uh, my screwdriver. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Whoa, shit. Uh, oops. Uh, do we have any more of the little pointy screws? Yeah, yeah, over here. Okay, there's one, there's two. Ow. Oh, we're so close Whoop. to getting these chairs done. Poor Matthias, right? He has to build furniture the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, 
Matthias, you're a trooper. Uh, no problem. Ever, did we tell you that enough, man? Yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> Specifically a trooper? Have we said that? <laughs> yeah, have I ever said that before? No, no, not exactly, but still. That's cool. Okay. Hey, can we see Who needs oh, more hendos? Uh, no, we can't. No, I need hendos. You're using them for. Dennis, you threw handles at me in the back of the back. I need to get a handle. Oh, more. All right, Dennis, you ready? Yeah. Go for it. <laughs> is this game? What's up? Oh! Hey, okay, Dennis shouldn't be throwing things. Dennis! Like Safe, Colton you're on your safety. Yeah, Colton yeah. shouldn't be catching and Dennis shouldn't be throwing. <laughs> I was tossing. Is that done, David? Yeah. All right, let's roll him out. Okay, Andy, you got to catch this victory victory lap right here. Me and David. Oh, oh no. I suck at this. this. <laughs> oh, and it opens the other way. So, yeah, yeah. This is, this is not a great victory lap. That we are going on. Yes. Oh, that Okay, how many are we done? One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, sorry, Brandon. Brandon's shooting his review of the Black Magic Pocket 4K. Um, yes, thank you. And we're making too much noise for him. Oh, are you guys done another game? Uh, well, Matias is. I'm just. Heck yeah. Oh, is that chair done? Whoa, are the chairs are the chairs done? Are we done? Ladies and gentlemen? I think so. Okay, when you roll them out there, be quiet, because Brandon will get mad at you otherwise. <laughs> yeah, he's 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 shooting right now. Um, and recording. Okay. Mission accomplished. So now I can finally walk you guys through what we're gonna be dealing with here for the PCs. After I drink this refreshing water from this Linus Tech Tips water bottle. <laughs> mm. Upside down. Sorry, one moment, please. Gotta get, my, gotta get my water bottle's good side here. At least he's showing for himself now. <laughs> LTTstore.com, ladies and gentlemen. Oh yeah, we've actually got the limited edition um, commemorative roast t-shirts up there right now too. So we're only making a couple hundred of these. Um, so yeah, they're not gonna last. I'm not gonna last long. <laughs> no, there will be no James DNA included with people's t-shirts. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna grab, uh, you know what, I'm gonna grab rig three. So land PC three, let's go through and let's, uh, let's show what kind of specs we're gonna be dealing with here. So we decided to go micro ATX because we wanted nice compact machines, but without compromising all of the upgrade ability by going ITX, because uh, we're gonna need some expansion cards. So we're using Corsair's Crystal 280X because tempered glass, RGB, micro ATX, looks really good, all that good stuff. So that was our case of choice for this project. Um, in terms of our processors, ooh, these are, these are kind of loose. Uh, Matthias, how do you wanna handle the CPU assignments? Tyler wants to do that. Okay. We're ready. Okay. Uh, well, like, we're kind of ready. Okay. I'll go get You want to go get Tyler? Okay. So we're using Ryzen 2700X processors because we couldn't wait for the upcoming Zen 2 based ones, which I have a feeling we're going to really regret. What's really cool about what AMD is doing these days is that we're finally back to buyer's remorse when you buy computer hardware because you actually get, like, <laughs> generational performance improvements. Go figure. So that's neat. Um, like sucks to be us, but like, hey, better than not having performance improvements, so that's cool. Um, we're going with, ah, uh, yes, so here's our box of memory. Oh, hey, this is the, uh, the accessory box for a level 20 GT. Uh, surely someone's been looking for that, because that's not where that's supposed to be. Okay, so in here... We've got our Vengeance RGB Pro memory. So these are 2666 megahertz, 16 gig kits. Guys, I know. I know that this isn't as fast as we would want for Ryzen. I know. Originally, we were going Intel, okay? That's why we're using these. And we weren't going to be like, hey, Corsair, we're going to change out our RAM, LOL. Um, so that goes there. And then for our boot drives, we're going with MP300 NVMe SSDs. These are 480 giggers. And the original plan was to do these and then obtain acceleration on our mechanical drives. But um, funny story, 
the board, the, the pro board from ASUS, the Tough Pro MATX board for AMD, that does have two NVMe slots is not available in this region, so we couldn't get it. So uh, we're just going with uh, NVMe, and then we're going to use Primo Cache to partition off maybe like 80 gigs of this and use that to accelerate the hard drive. If anyone isn't sure what to do right now, uh, go ahead and grab a Maxonomic chair box and start loading in the same things as I am so you can start getting your system ready for assembly. All right. Um, so next up. Ah, yes. This is going to be good. So we're going with 10 gig NICs from Aquantia. And the reason for this has nothing to do with gaming. This is all about making sure that when we're installing games, it's going fast. So, if, you know, because we've got like 12 rigs here. So we want a 10 gig network with a Steam cache elsewhere on the network, which we already have. So that way, when we're all like, hey, we're going to play some Black Ops. Okay. And we all press download at the same time. Just, like, There's going to be no bottleneck, and we can download our games off base. of our own server uh, like at even around. faster than gigabit speed. So much faster than Steam would be so able to deliver them here. to us. So every system gets a 10 gig NIC. Base. Go ahead and grab a 10 gig NIC. In fact, you guys can load up more than one box if you. Whoa, 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 whoa! Who's getting ahead of me here? I, I might be. No. So far, we have a 280x case, a 10 gig NIC an MP300 SSD and a Vengeance RGB Pro because not everything here is actually going in the system so don't get carried away ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> but the yeah, case is going I'm guessing your graphics card is though? Right? Yes, you can take your graphics card. Uh, here's a bunch of dbrand skins which has nothing to do with anything other than that dbrand graciously skinned our tables for us and they look freaking awesome with this uh, true textured 3M vinyl like honeycomb pattern. I forget what they call it but it looks amazing. Oh, wow on a phone, on a table, on pretty much anything. Uh, everybody needs a Commander Pro because we're going full RGB for these builds. So everybody grab a Commander Pro, please. Commander Pro. Commander Pro. Dennis, you are the Commander Pro. Yes. Sir. All right. We're all going to need a Tough Series B4050M Plus gaming motherboard. There's nothing about a motherboard that makes it particularly gaming. Motherboard. But that doesn't matter. Uh, basically, it had the features we needed in terms of processor support and it's got four RAM oh, slots. Four like, board. We thought it had enough M.2 slots, but it didn't. LOL, joke's on us. Uh, it has ideal slot spacing for us, so we're going to do our graphics card right here. It's going to take up these two. And then we're going to do our 10 gig NIC right here. So it's going to get full bandwidth there. So there you go. That's what that looks like. Um, keep going through here. Let's get all these systems distributed. I probably shouldn't have opened this. There's another Commander Pro. Is there another Commander Pro? Yeah. That's all I have. Here. Are you short one? Ah, uh, okay. Someone claim it to build. Does, does one of the systems have two Commander Pros? Did Alex get out ahead and take two Commander Pros? No, he didn't. Actually, I don't think Alex has a Commander Pro at all. Ah, uh, okay, we'll get back to you on that. Okay. Then we're missing two. Everybody needs an RTX 2070 graphics card. So basically, we're going to be gaming at 2560 by 1440 once ASUS swaps out the monitors for us. And this was kind of a, um, without totally break, breaking the bank, sweet spot. So we're still going to have support for RTX, but honestly, we weren't that worried about it as a feature because none of the competitive games we're going to be playing care about that. So it's got about the performance of a GTX 1080, but with extra features and doesn't break the bank. So that's why we went with that. Um, also, we've got these nice dual fan, uh, these nice dual fan coolers on them. So these rigs, we actually have one of them completely built up. They are surprisingly quiet, even under load, because, hey, we've gone way overkill on the CPU cooling. So we're using H100i RGB Platinum coolers. These are so far overkill for a Ryzen 2700X, but uh, whatever. <laughs> There you go, full RGB, baby. RGB. Uh, do you guys need me to distribute these? Yes. Dennis, extra motherboard. Uh, what do you mean extra, oh, extra motherboard? motherboard? We ordered an extra one, apparently. We did? Jake, what's your Two, three. Uh, eight. okay, apparently we have an extra uh, six, motherboard. Six, seven, eight, I don't know how that works. I'll take that. I have an extra one on purpose. You did? Okay. Substantial. Okay, cool. All right. Uh, Everybody needs a lighting node yeah, pro. I found these bits. Except system two. Oh! That may be what happened with our other uh, RGB thing. Flat. System 2 already has it installed in the case. Yeah. OK, cool. So everyone needs a lighting node pro. Okay. Dennis, you gentle, beautiful human. Oh, oh, oh. 
Oh. Back to the back to roast mode. Oh. Dennis, you sweet, sweet person. Just give me everything. Okay. Um, so every system gets, I think, two light loop fans. Don't quote me on that one, though. That's going to be interesting. Two each. Two each. Two each. Two each. Yep. Two each. Two each. Okay, so we're doing this like uh, old school fire 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 department style, like. Hey, hey, you got the bucket. Two, two each, two each. You got the fans in the bucket. Uh, Anthony, can I take these? Yes. No? All right. If there's a lot extras, then it's probably three per system. So let's see how that goes. All right, power supply time. So everybody needs a Seasonic Prime Titanium 1000 Watt 80 Plus Titanium Power Supply. Not because they actually need that kind of wattage, because, but because Seasonic sponsored this build, and that's what they sent over. So we are, uh, yeah, we're going with it. Uh, there you go. Oh man. Two. Here we go. Oh, that one's in the box. Okay. Uh, this is heavy. So, okay, sure. Anyway, you have two fans? I have two fans. Everyone got two fans? Oh. Man, this is going to take us a while. Want to start distributing power supplies? Yep. Power awesome. supply. Power supply. Oh, hey. Two. Guys, I have yeah. an. Four, four Guys, I have a whole other box of Commander Pros and Lighting Node Pros. So are we actually are we actually short on the RGB for any system? I think one might be missing a Commander Pro. One's missing a Commander Pro? Okay, David. Nice catch, David. All right, well, at any rate, we know those are there, so we can put that with the extra hardware. All right, now, of course, our systems would not be complete without peripherals. And that's where our friends at Logitech came in. So everybody's getting their Brio 4K Pro webcam. Dennis, want to pass some webcams around? Okay. Here you go, sir. Yeah, that, uh, okay. <laughs> Why do I even hand these things to Dennis? He just turns around and hands them to someone else. <laughs> you know this box right next to you to put stuff in, right, Dennis? No, I don't want to mess up. Like, <laughs> I don't want you to mess up either, but like... All right. Uh, oh. get, like, hey, were we short a cooler, you guys? Did anybody extra? notice? Yeah. Extra one. Ed, do you, wait, we have an yeah, extra of that? Yeah, we're short one cooler. Short a cooler? Yeah, All right. Yeah. Here's, sure. here's a cooler. Thanks, Dennis. Hey, wait, is it system two? No. System two is the same thing. Okay. All right. Uh, all right, mice. So we went with, wow, Logitech sent over G903s for all of them? Those are extras. Those are extras. Deep Pro G Pro Wireless. Oh, G -Pro. Oh, wow. Yeah. oh, wow. We went G Pro. Is everyone, everyone you guys are applauding? <laughs> <laughs> apparently, we're, apparently, we're really excited about G Pro Wirelesses. I want a G903. They're really nice. Um, yeah. where, where are the G Pro Wirelesses? They're behind there. They're back there? I somewhere? see, I see. It's the darker boxes. Oh, yeah, these the ones? First. All right, well, we'll get to the keyboards first. You know what? No, let's do headsets first. <laughs> so we've got Logitech's G Pro headsets. So I need one of those. And no, I'm not giving it Let to you, try Dennis. It. No. Okay. All right, fine. So actually distribute some this time. Jeez. <laughs> Here's a few for Ed. Can you do these two? Okay. Oh, you're wait, these are the different ones. Here's a few more for Ed. Oh, wait, these are G935s. Those are different. Okay, well, I don't, I don't know. I guess we have... Uh, uh, Jake! That's it. I don't know about the headset. You don't know anything about the headset. All right. They have it? Perfect. Uh, so we've got, oh wow, so some of them get More? power play mouse pads? Oh, you have a 903. Oh, so, okay, we're not going to worry about the power play mouse pads or 903s or 703s. So these are the ones that have that perpetual charging technology. Um, so we're going to see if some of the lucky stations get those. All right, now we need keyboards. G513 carbons, so these are using their Romer G linear switches. And of course, RGB up the wazoo. All right, these are heavy. These I don't know why are people like linear switches. These are yeah. la, la heavy. Yep, enjoy. Thank you so much. All right, so uh, keyboards. Yep. All right. And finally, G Pro wirelesses. So, wait, do we not have enough G Pro wirelesses for all of the stations? There should be 12? Here. All right, well, we'll find out because there might be 12 total mice here by my count. Okay, three last two. Yeah, it might be that we're supposed to use uh, G903s and 703s on some of the stations. I guess we will find out later. Finally, because we want this setup to be capable of streaming as well, 
And no offense to Logitech's oh, yeah. headset, but this is a better option. They actually recently acquired oh. Blue. So they sent over uh, 12 of their Yeti Nanos. And we're gonna have those set up on all the stations as well. So uh, if anyone wants to stay after work and stream on their you know, channel or do whatever, these stations are all gonna be set up with 4K webcams and Yeti Nanos. You have one. Uh, I already took one, didn't I? No, you didn't. You I didn't? Did okay, cool. All right, okay, thank you, Dennis. I need one more, though. You need one more than that? No more. Uh, that's it for the Yeti Nanos. I'm pretty Wait, sure did, did, we had to. Yeah. He's got two. I got no, one here. I think he took another one earlier. Oh, oh, oh that, 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 there. Dang it. Yeah, Dennis. Alex did. Alex did. <laughs> it's all out. See, Alex broke the system. <laughs> okay. Sorry, I tried to be more efficient. So, guys, the CPUs have all been written down by Matthias over here. So what you do is you take your CPU when you're assembling a system. Everybody got that? We're just gonna leave those somewhere safe oh, no. until we're ready to actually install them in the motherboard. Okay, so um, who all is ready to grab a system and go? Can we just pick a number? Actually, hold on, no, before we do that, I'm gonna show you guys system one. Because system one is built the way that we expect all of them to be built at the end. I believe this is system one. Okay, so this one was built by me, for better or for worse. Wait, no, this isn't system this one. This one behind, behind you. you. And this one? Yeah. No. That's... Where is system one? Done, done, done. This is system one. Okay. Uh, do you mind? Oh, these are a lot heavier now. Hold on. Let me move all my stuff. Uh, also, the extra mice are just for preference. It's if people want to use other mice. Oh. Thanks, Jono. I want a three Thanks, watch. Guys, guys. You don't get to like pick them. You don't have an assigned station. What? Like, oh, there's cool. 12. We have over 20 employees. Why you that in this happen? room? If you're not in this room, you're good. Yeah. No, that's not the way it works. Okay? The stations are 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 not like reserved. What if I lick my mouse? If you oh. lick your mouse, then you're a nasty you're person. Never, yeah. You're done. And you're not allowed to use the land center anymore. <laughs> First come, you're a nasty person. I only land you. Okay. <laughs> So here we go, guys. This is the expectation for the final build. Oh, that's not very high. <laughs> Wait, Dennis, <laughs> do you even know how to build a PC? <laughs> we will see. Dennis, okay, Dennis, <laughs> thermal paste after the CPU. So this is our this is what our finished rigs are gonna look like. All right. So I want to walk you guys through a couple quick things here. Everybody, gather around, okay? Yep. So cable management on the back. We're not too concerned about that. You're basically just kind of shoving everything back there. All right? That's, that's the build expectation. We're wow. in a bit of a hurry here. All right? Uh, the hard drives. Um, oh, Jake, did we ever figure out why this hard drive wasn't showing up? Uh, no, we didn't. We didn't. Uh, wonderful. OK, well, Let's not worry about that one's assigned to you. Yeah, system one might have, might have one small issue with the hard drive there. <laughs> so that's the plan there. And then, actually, I forgot one piece uh, for all the systems. We're using cable mod uh, wire extensions in order to get that nice, clean, uh, that nice, clean look there. So, RGB strips go. Uh, top and hold on. Nope, not top. So back, bottom, front, like and a, I don't like think I have one on top. Oh yeah, yeah. I do. Sorry. Awkward. Back, bottom, front, and top. Okay. So full RGB. Uh, we're doing the tubes towards the front of the case. We're doing these front ones as an intake, and we're actually doing the top ones as an intake as well. So we're going to be massively positive pressure inside. The reason for that is that they're all filtered, so it's not a huge deal, and they look better <laughs> when we see the front of the fan. So it's purely for looks, not for performance. If we were doing it for performance, we'd probably go in and out. Okay. That would be smart. All right. Um, I'm gonna put this over on the rack over there. Can so we if take you guys, off the yeah, I can take off the panels. So if you guys want to use it as a reference, you can it. have a look at it over here. All right, I'm gonna pop these off. I'm not gonna drop it. You might. <laughs> just hit it with your just hit it with your foot when All it right. comes down. All right. So, um, oh, Jake, are you distributing the cables? Yeah. You're grabbing a system, right? I suppose. Yeah. Yep. All right. How long is this going to take us? Way too long. Do we have anywhere to build systems? Like, do we have enough tables ready yet? Four, buddy. Can we do three people to a table? What do you think? Oh, no. You can barely do one person to a table. But you can definitely do two. We can two do people to a table. Two to a table? Two to a table? Boxes on the ground. All right. So, Anthony, uh, you, uh, okay. 
So I want all the experienced builders to take a new. So Anthony, you get Dennis. Hi, Dennis. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, it's time for Dennis Tech You're with Anthony. I'm, oh, with Anthony. Well, I'm with Anthony. Yeah. Yes. You build your own system next to Anthony. Linus. So okay. Anthony can answer all your questions. Are we able to build yeah. on like the dining room table? We can build on the dining room table. We're going to have to probably bring it over here, though. Okay. Uh, uh, is it that? Is it that? Uh, um, I need to all right, right. more assignments. Alex, uh, you are taking... Actually, most of the other people here pretty oh. much know how to build a system. Okay, so Alex, you're going to take Colton. I have Hi. Come on. Uh, okay, sure. Yeah, sure. So glad uh, you said game. All right. Uh, Jake and Ed. And then David, you're with me. To cool. Uh, with All right. We have only eight. James. We need to build ten systems. We got James. Uh, oh, James. Okay, James, you're on your own. Great. And I well, guess, um, yeah, James, you're on your own. Actually, I yeah. Go. Yeah, yeah uh, actually, it's Jake with James. David, you're on your own. Um, okay, cool. So who's with Alex? You're over here. Hey, Colton. Yeah, what's up? I want to take, okay. I'll take number so, eight. Guys, number this eight. is critical. I'm taking eight. All, I'm taking the, eight. all the accessories and packing material and, and manuals, whatever, goes back in your box. Everybody got that? Otherwise, poor Matthias and Tyler will never be able to figure out where everything goes. Everybody got that? Got it. Cool. Great. This is mine. Dennis. Stop. Wow. Uh, reduce our footprint to the greatest extent possible. Can you sign the inside of the case that we build, like behind the motherboard? You can sign it if you want, but you don't have to. It should be wow. fine. That's so nice. Yeah. We're going to tuck that in there. Well, we'll put it. Uh, hold on. Okay. Give me a sec. Give me a sec. Ed? Can you make sure someone's shooting? Okay. Um, are we bringing that dining table over here? Yeah. Oh wow, that's gonna be a challenge. Fun. Okay. Man. So I haven't done like a, a PC building workshop in a very long time. I actually did one uh, years ago, back when I worked at NCIX. The deal was if you bought your computer within this certain time period and you were willing to wait until this one date, to get it, you could come in and I would run a classroom and teach you how to build your own system. I think we did it once or twice. A lot of fun, not a huge revenue generator, so we, we weren't able to continue the program, but it was, it was, it was definitely fun. Um, so inexperienced builders, follow along with your teacher, and Alex, don't get too far ahead of him. I built Specifically like Colton. PCs with some of the people. I built seven of them. Seven, seven. that's uh, a lot of PCs. It was my job for a while. Have you built an RGB PC? How RGB? So the trickiest part of these builds is going to be the RGB, you guys, uh, because it's not trivial to wire it up. So that's where you're going to want to look at the example computer and have a look at how it all goes together, all right? Let's uh, stage a few oh, no, no RGB. No, we are having RGB. Full RGB. They all need to match. Full RGB, ladies and gentlemen. Go in your I know where this course is. All right. Uh, so that's Andy, 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 Andy. I guess I need to build one. I guess I'm going to build system number three. All right, cool. Uh, oh, wow. How many people are going to build on that? Three. We can fit three or four even. Okay. Uh, guys, can you take your boxes and put them under your table like Colton and Alex did? Okay. Is anyone claiming this one? Yeah, what about Dennis? I'm taking this one. Dennis? I'm taking this one. Uh, Riley wants me to host that. Uh, go for it. <laughs> and then the two of us can come back and catch up. Sure. Okay. Okay, so you guys are paired off then? Perfect. So why don't you find two PCs for you guys and shut them out of the way somewhere? Okay. Because uh, Matthias will be done another table for you by the time you get back. He looks like he's pretty close. Yeah. What? I thought we already had 10 people here. I don't remember. Matias is, uh... Matias is one of them, but he's probably not going to catch okay. up. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so, you mind? Yeah, can we lift this? Sorry, Ed. Sorry, Ed. Remember, shoot the leg. <laughs> How'd you get that out? Uh, it's on the side. I can help you. I'm just going to go. Boop. That works. We did 
You're weak. Wow. Yeah, I'll just run it off on the SSD. I think everybody's got kids. Okay. Although, you might be short on cable, so if you don't, if you're missing an extension, uh, there's a bunch in the middle there. So. Uh, actually, I'm moving on. Oh, never mind. If you're missing a cable extension, guys, they're going to be over on the rack on the bottom shelf, because I need this table to build on. Oh, All right. Um, Who's I fix it kid is this? Oh, Let's say battery on it. It's Jake's. Yeah, Jake. Jake. There you go. I brought the camera down one over too. Right. Excuse me, Mr. Warren. Okay. I don't. I'm gonna put it over here with some of the random stuff. Sounds good. Cool. Um, you don't have to follow me, Andy. Now that everyone's getting started, let's see how this goes. I'm trying to take something out of a box. It's fun. Start with the GPU. So I wanna, I started late and I'm gonna try and beat everybody else. It's not a race. I built in this case it's like, a race. Oh, it's not a race. Out. It's totally 150% a race. It's not a race. It is a race. <laughs> it's, it's a, a race. bad influence on everybody. It's a huge. And before I drop this to her back, All right, no parts I have Rame in already. Thank you, Alex. Good and thinking. Next one is M.2. What is this? Uh, get, get Alex. He's Alex, can I get another one? No. Uh, see how they have different colors? I'm going to want to match up the colors. So well, I gave Jake one. one. When you see the camera, try to explain what you're doing. Oh, we're just getting parts trays, so you don't lose your parts. That's about it. CPUs are right there. Oh, like just straight up. OK. Can I grab a specific one? Uh, yes. Which one? Um, I don't know. Which CPU do you want me to use? Yeah. Oh. Well, rip the floor. We didn't like it anyway. It's fine. It's fine. It's coming from the guy that last time was scratching the floor. I'm like, hey, you should stop doing that. It keeps going. Giant scratch, like a meter long. Oh, it's fine. Just wipes it off. <laughs> Huh. Can I shove you even just like... Yep. Looking for the old iFixit. Well, we certainly didn't hand out the uh, update modules. Nope. Uh, uh, thank you, sir. Welcome. All right, so we're just going to ram an M.2 SSDs. Uh, I, I, need a box. I don't have yeah. any. Check your box and see what your number is and take your CPU as it corresponds to the inventory number over there. Well. They were not distributed. I don't remember the number. I don't understand what's going on. Chip and you'll have to have Jake. Talk to the camera about I've never put an AMD chip. Do you know which number your system is? I can find out right now. Okay, I'm so guys, six. remember I'm camera, four. camera 101. When someone's addressing the camera, don't talk over them, please. All right. Uh, camera rule number two. Wait for the camera to be facing you before you start, like, talking at it in a cohesive manner. And talk at it. Okay, so you've never done an AMD CPU no. before. You're going to find out this is the worst uh, mounting system you've yeah. ever seen in your life. All right. Wait, wait, I want to launch this too. You hate it. Or maybe okay. I should grab so it So pull first. the thingy up. Basically, the way that this works is this socket slides, and that applies pressure on all the pins, and it holds it in place. Oh. Unless it doesn't have enough force, in which case, when you take your CPU cooler off, the CPU just rips out. It's a fun time. Okay. But for now, you're going to look at the... The little gold triangle thingy yep. on this side, the other side? Yeah, I've got the oh, is there one on that There's side one on that side too. Wow, oh, fancy. And there is one, every board is different. Some of them have it printed on the PCB, but in this case, it's, on... it's right in that corner right there. Yep. You're going to line it up, and apply, you don't want to apply any pressure at all. Just, just drop it. Try and line it up, drop it in place. Okay, yeah, that dropped in. In there, you normally just give her a little wiggle, make sure she's good. Yep. And then just clamp the thing down. Cool. And there you go, you have now installed an AM4 CPU. I'm an expert. Yeah, thank wow, you, Jake. That, might have been our best that was the best yeah. one. That was okay. good. Let's do Ram next. Yep. That's an easy one. <laughs> I've done that yet. Sorry, was there a fix for the AMD thing, or is it just. Um, no. Line up the triangle. Yeah. So you don't apply any of the just fall right in. Okay, so do we want to do one of three or two before? Uh, the first one. 
Oh god, please don't watch me. You're making me nervous. so much more pressure. Oh god, I don't have enough hands for this. Now the triangle. Triangle. Right? Boop. Uh, so Nick Light just messaged me. We have an offer code for LTTstore.com. Apparently it's we love money, all lowercase, <laughs> all one word. I don't know what it does because my email is open in that tab and it's uh, private information could be on there. So yeah, maybe if you look away, Andy, for a second, I'm going to find out what that offer code does. Uh, it's, oh wow, it's $10 off. It's $10 off an order of $50 or more. I think that's actually our deepest discount yet. I think we've done $5 off. Don't quote me on that. I can't remember. That's a Nick, it's a Nick thing. But uh, there you go. $10 off orders of $50 or more. We've got the roast shirt. Yeah. We've got the uh, the new hats. Alex, can you model a hat for me for a moment, please? Hello, this is the hat. Beautiful. Um, we've got, of course, like the classic. The classic. Uh, oh, the sweatshirt that Anthony is wearing is coming soon. Hey. Got that LTT there and the phone pocket. Phone pocket's on the other side. Don't worry about it. Um, yeah, I think that's all the big news. Now I've got to catch up on my build here, so I'm sorry, guys, but I'm gonna fire up some of these uh, super chats, and then I'm also gonna try and. See if I can finish first, not that it's a race. It's not a race, it's not a race. That's what I'm gonna tell myself. All right, sorry Andy, go back to what you're doing. What I'm doing is installing uh, the mounting bracket for the uh, main controller for the uh, desks. So, theoretically, well, it'll just slot right in. Uh, Andy, Jake's gonna do a little. Oh, I've heard that. Jake's gonna do a little workshop. I'll undo it. You'll undo it. Okay, undo so Jake's it. gonna do a little workshop for everyone on how to do the AIO. So if you are the inexperienced builder at your table, Dennis and Colton, I would like you guys to come over here and watch what Jake's doing. Um, yeah, because it's kind of easy to screw that up. Also, one other pro tip, guys. Grab at least one of the SATA cables out of your motherboard box and pre-wire it. Ideally, both of them. Just pre-wire them over to the hard drive bays as like a courtesy connector so that if you ever want to throw a hard drive in, we don't have to redo the cable management, all right? Are they coming? Yeah, we doing, buddy? Hey, how you doing? Hey, it's just Dennis. Like, isn't there more people? We have our toys here so that we can follow along. No, uh, it's just a... You can grab your toys if you want. I don't have time. It's just a general <laughs> thing. So you're going to take... I'm a busy man. And you should probably come closer. It's going to be really quiet. Um, so you basically, you're going to take your AIO out of the box, take these brackets off. They just pull out. It's kind of a pain. I'm probably pulling the wrong way. I'm pulling the wrong way. You're going to break them. Just pull the brackets Oops. off. It's harder than it looks. And then, oh, inside here, there's two AMD brackets. Ignore that. This is what they look like. Okay. Oh, Did Corsair just assume our CPU preference? No, you get all of it together. Did Corsair just assume? Did they put the Intel one on there out of the box? Oh, I see. No, they, that's just how it comes from the factory, I think. And then you want the little oh. hole on the top here facing down top. Up. So it, not like this. Yeah, up, yeah. Not like that. You want it up top. Okay. And um, put them oh, cool. so you can mount it with the Corsair logo facing up like that. Nice. Cool. Got it? That was a terrible tutorial, but there you Dennis, go. Dennis, Dennis, why did we use a different bracket? Because different chips has different things. That was pretty Dang. good. He knows what's up. Uh, he, I think he nailed it. <laughs> I think he nailed it, guys. I might break my ram. It's better than screwing it, right? Do I just like, like uh, no. Where are we? Okay, what did you No, I think screwing it is just in this. Oh my gosh. Holy crap. I almost broke my ram. I almost put it in the wrong way. Whoops. We're okay, though. We're okay. I got this. Ah, we need to hook yeah, that's yes! Alright, cool. That's better. Woohoo, scared.
I'm, I'm slipping up. It's, it's, it's the camera, dude. Oh my god, no, I have it the wrong way again. Yeah, there you go. I have shaky hands. I'm nervous. You know what makes my hands shaky? What? Madrina's coffee. <laughs> No, no, All right, cool. We're good. Good. Install. Yeah, see Sonic. They make. What? I don't have the uh, memory or the uh, M.2 module that I need, so I'm just gonna build the rest of the case here, and um, we'll see who has some left over. It actually flips in this time. Yeah. Oh wow! Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Are you used to right Oh yeah, we got this. Okay, so there's a step we missed. Now that uh, we got the brackets on, the way that this AM4 mount works is we keep these stock AMD hooky things, and these little loops just go around, and you tighten the nut on top once the cooler's in place. Super easy. Maybe not as easy as like X299, but honestly, not that bad. Sorry, it's four of the thumb screws. So you need things? two thumb screws and two of the little loopy things. Oh, just two of the thumb screws. Oh, okay, just two. Okay. Two and two. And we already have pre-applied thermal paste, so we don't need to put any more of that on. Okay, and sorry, what do we do with these? Uh, so the little hook, you have the hook things too? The loops? Yep. Okay, so basically what's gonna happen is this loop is gonna be around this hook, and then you're gonna screw it through that. It's a little, like you have to use- Oh, I see, okay, I get you. Okay. We probably, we probably don't want to put the AIOs on yet. Yeah. Now that I'm put it, about it in after. Put the motherboard in first, and then put the AI on after. Sure. Okay. Save us the effort. Oh. I'm just gonna keep these over here. Then. Oh, we need an IO shield. Bloop. Bloop. IO shield. All right. Flop this. Make sure it's the right way. This way, like that. And Bazinga, we're good. Oh um, no. What? Bazinga. Okay, relax. I'm with David. You just don't like that word? What? Uh, that show, man. What show is that? Yeah, maybe. maybe. Who's, oh, right, Sheldon says. Okay. Um, is it Sheldon that says Bazinga? Yeah, I think so. Why do you guys think that joke? I would continue to like it, but. It's offensive to my culture. <laughs> Real nerd culture? Yeah, 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 I think it's. Yeah, I'm not afraid of Hey, what's up? What? I'm just, you know, quietly making up ground over here. I've actually built in this case a few times now, so I uh, think I mostly know what to do. I always run into trouble with the uh, with the Lightning Node Pro and with the uh, the RGB fans, though. Getting it all wired up in the right order is a little bit tricky. Um, and if you want your like your lighting animations to go all in the right direction and all that stuff, then you got to be kind of conscientious about the way that you do it up. I'm gonna have to double check my reference machine in order to do that. That'll definitely save time. Uh, guys, I would strongly recommend. Uh, guys, I would strongly recommend installing your power supply and your RGB lighting like base pieces, like the Node Pro uh, controller, before you start cabling everything up. Um, getting your RGB lights put in as well, and getting those cables run using that machine as a reference, also strongly recommended, because those are the hardest parts to wire up. Like all the wiring takes about as long as. Like the rest of the wiring takes about as long as the RGB wiring on its own. Oh, we have to move on to the standoff. Oh, uh, Jake, can you do a PSA for that? Uh, public safety announcement: We have to move one of the standoffs. I'm pretty sure. Which one? Why? Make sure everyone's sure? actually listening. I got mine in. Hold up. I Dennis. Let me double check. Uh, what? Colton, you're coming. Hold on. A standoff has to be removed. Come over here so that Jake can point it. Got it. Easy. Just kidding, which one? The middle one down here labeled M needs to move down to M. The next uh, M. That one needs to move to, okay. Because otherwise it's going to be touching the back of your motherboard, and that is that no needs to, point So that one needs to be removed. So M you have to move it down. Yeah, yeah. Uh, down? To which? the next M, right below it. Okay. Have you, uh, oh. like, I fix it kit I'm using? Otherwise, we're going to short circuit a bunch of motherboards, and that would be oh, really yeah. bad. That's not really good. Wow. Lost a bit there. I'm just going to crack it. Yeah. And then I hate the IO shield on this board, but well, bam, we're good. There's a little nubbin in the middle to line it up. 
Easy peasy. Although I don't have an iFixit kit to tighten it anymore. Uh, uh, yeah. So it's going just to the bottom one? Yeah. Guys, I have needle nose pliers if you need uh, to remove that standoff. Needle nose pliers? Which one is it? Uh, it's the bottom middle one, it moves one down. Alright. So, so I guess we're just looking for this one. Okay. Easy enough. All right, there we go. Thanks, buddy. There you go, Mr. Colton. They just unscrew out. Yep. Be careful about the paint. No, no. Beautiful. I'm installing my power supply as soon as I'm done this thing. Have you all moved your standoff already? I have not yet, but I don't need okay. pliers. Uh, I don't. Okay. I'm, how, what? I like. Uh, this is the most like every time I'm trying to do something to like to tell Dennis what to do, you make an announcement. <laughs> so like. It's in the case. What? Yeah. Anybody that? Oh, you're talking. Well, okay. So Anthony. You you have two roles though, to kind of uh, proactively instruct him when you think of it, and also to keep an eye on him and make sure that he actually did it. Yes. That's the key. That's well, speaking of which, you want me to take a look at this? Um, oh, what? I, 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 broke, I broke this. What did you do, Dennis? This thing just so not very strong. Um. Oh well, it's that wait, that's the one that came with the case, right? Yeah. Oh, that comes out anyway. How do I do? I, how do I take it out? Well. Not like this. You'll have to kind of get something under it and uh, oh. pull it out. Oh. Yeah. Oh. So we don't need the stock RGB controller and, because. And do we just do I just pull this entire thing out? Okay. So you got to look oh. at the connectors that are on it and unclip them. They have a clip on them. Yeah. It's on the bottom side. Oh. The clip there, all right. Okay. Okay. It's it's wired in. Oh, I'm gonna go get some side cutters. Yeah, we need side cutters. Okay. Just it's this thing, but whatever. We don't. We, we're gonna have to replace this, so this is fine. And it's not even broken. Just look. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Don't overreact. Don't overreact. Yeah. Okay. What's next? Uh, okay. So you're gonna want to actually remove those things. So Linus has gone to get side cutters so, so that we can cut the uh, not to cut the wires. We got the, uh, oh, that's just struck. Yeah. Okay, we'll try. Okay, we'll try. I can use this. Um, guys, here's a pair of side cutters for your table. I don't think pliers are going to work. A pair of side cutters yeah. for your yeah. Dennis, I said I'm getting side cutters. I just said I'm getting side cutters. Thank <laughs> you. James, I got you. Okay. So we don't need it. Right. Ooh, probably put them back in the box that they came to. <laughs> like, you don't want to throw them away. Okay, what's now? Okay, so now you're going to want to, if you open up your Commander Pro. Commander Pro. Yes. That's this big thing here. I'm not sure if it has any sticky pads or anything that comes with it. Let me see here. It doesn't look like there are. Yeah, it looks like it doesn't come with any sticky pads that I can see, which is unfortunate. But once you have them, once you have this out. Uh, you'll want to put it in the bottom of the case with the cables facing towards the front. So that way we can run them up and over. Yeah. If you're not sure how they go, uh, the uh, system that Linus already has built over there has them already in. So you can see that it's actually down at the bottom. And how do you... We just... How do you just it by the time these things get yeah. set up? I'll, be, I'll pass it. 
Man. You guys, like, what honestly happened with this whole thing was um, I've been traveling a lot over the last probably about five weeks. I've been in the office maybe, what, like half the time, James? Oh, it feels Something like it. like that? It feels like it. Yeah, it's been, it's been pretty rough. And so, you know, I've had a lot of help. Like, the team has, uh, as you guys have noticed, shot a lot of videos without me, um, including uh, Anthony in particular has, abs no offense to anyone else, you guys all did great, but Anthony, like, really slayed it with his build guide. He managed to get an entire build guide shot while I was gone. Um, he did another one uh, yesterday. Uh, which one Which one was that, Anthony? That was the RTX on GTX. Yeah, so RTX yeah. on GTX. Yeah. Or ray tracing on GTX, rather. Um, so he did that. Um, community reception's been really great. Actually, you guys have been amazing about almost almost everyone. You guys have been like really kind to as people are kind of starting to learn you know how to host videos and getting getting the hang of it um, so thank you guys for that but it doesn't change that I've been traveling a lot and I really really wanted to be here for the deployment of the land center but what that means is that for the last couple of months this shelf of parts had just been sitting there staring at me every time I walked past like hey if only you had found time to build these computers, you could be staying after work and gaming and it would be fun. If only you had time for fun, Linus. So, um, I'm, so today, it just kind of boiled over and I was talking to Ed about when we could find time to put doing this video on the schedule. And uh, we had a, a sponsored Friday release that was supposed to go up today that they asked for some changes on. And I was, so I was frustrated because I was like, oh, okay, well, I'd really like to do a live stream, but now I didn't really have a plan. And then I walked past here and I was like, let's just do it. Like, yeah, like, do people have time today? And people were like, uh, sort of. And so we did it. So I'm like, I'm super stoked because we already had a games night planned tonight. Um, so now we're going to play some, some Vidya, Vidya games as well. Gonna be awesome. Plus, we got Mortal Kombat 11. I downloaded it this morning on the Xbox. Mortal I'm, Kombat I'm nice. so stoked. I'm so stoked to play some Xbox. I mean, yeah, this is. We'll play some PC games too. But. <laughs> wow, games. But I would have played some Mortal Kombat, man. It's the only game I have a fighting chance at. Uh, hey! Hey! That was pretty good. <laughs> no, I'm not giving him props for that. Zero, zero props were given for that joke. It was just convenient. Oh, it was super intentional. It's James, Jake. Of course it was intentional. James. 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 What am I doing? So you, yeah. Yeah. Is this an M.2 heat sink? Oh, yeah. We have to put the M.2 in. Oh, it goes with that. Did you use any tools or did you just pull it? So, what I did here is because this is already stuck on there, but in the example system, it's not. It's like that. It's a, it has a sticky on it, so you can replace it on top of that thing. Okay. Yeah, I guess. If that's what there is in there, yeah. Oh, I hate RGB. No, left. Okay. Yeah. We should just knock to everything. Hi, Riley. Actually, I would like to do a build guide. Hi. Hang on. You mean Dennis? See you later. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Dennis is getting pulled away. He's not going to keep building? I, ha I have. Oh, I guess he has to edit tech linked. Okay. <laughs> Why does he have to? I mean, yeah, I guess I can throw someone else at tech Yeah, throw someone else at tech link. Uh, we, need, we need Dennis I, here. I would prefer to edit. <laughs> oh, Dennis, you have to help us build computers, sir. <laughs> <laughs> we need you, Dennis. Okay, I'll. I have all the sources on the timeline. Yes. They are somewhere. Well, and I'm using exactly. Yes. Oh, exactly. All right. So Jake, did you ever actually check how many oh, SATA we need? Three for one for the computer, two for RGB stuff, and then you so, need the one for the hard drive. That okay. Like so, so do you have one for your There will be a two like for the two from oh. SATA and two fours. Yeah, that comes out. So just give it two and a four. Do this on like a regular Two fours. Two and a four. Oh, uh, yeah, two yeah, and a four. So, yeah. Okay, okay, everybody got that? No. So what? for modular cables, okay. you need one of the four SATA harnesses 
and one of the two SATA harnesses. Okay. And, uh, GPU. Okay, which side yeah. off? Uh, and we're gonna go for the RGB, so you might want to have the loop side. PCIe. So and the, then the side with the the plastic ring. Need an eight-pin CPU, a twenty-four okay, pin so like for that. the motherboard. You either do a GPU that's two, or you can do two single GPUs. So it's up to you guys what you want to do there. Yeah, it's fine. We'll just have to tell them later. All right. So. So this is the pro move, plugging in all your modular cables before you go any further. So I've got my the two SATA harnesses that I told everyone we need. So that'll handle our lighting node pro, our um, the RGB on our cooler. Um, that's going to handle our any hard drives we want to install down the line. And then I've got two 8-pin uh, PCI Express, although it's going to be an 8 plus a 2. Uh, but I'm using extensions, so you won't see kind of the messy extra bit hanging off. I've got a 4 plus 4 for my CPU. And then, of course, I've got my 24-pin connector for my motherboard. So that's everything, and that's ready to go into my case now. Somehow I ended up with an entire table to myself, so that's pretty sweet. I'm not going to say anything so that hopefully nobody notices. Oh, you had a different fan? Oh. And you go, you go under. Oh, like that. Yeah, so have it the same way it but underneath the. Yeah, same way, go. Put it in. It's in the wrong spot. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Anybody who's working on your cooler, you're swapping out the fans included with it, right? No, you're not. They're light loops. Oh, oh, no, they are. They're not. They're light loops oh, in the so case, not the cooler. Yeah. yeah. So, guys, the two extra fans in your box are for your AIO cooler. We're using light loops everywhere for that oh, full no, max no. RGB effect. So, uh, you're wrong. I was wrong. Wait, so don't use the fans in the case? In the case? No, use what the fans in the case. Yep. But not the ones included with the cooler. Understood. Yeah, this case includes light loops out of the box. Got it. That's sick. Yeah. So where do you have the radio? The top. Okay. Okay. My head. When I took my my case out, one of my fans was like on the top for some reason already. So I had to like move it to the front. Yeah, it was weird. I had to move it. It was mounted here. That's really weird. Yeah. It's all good. Okay. So what do I do? Yeah. Oh wait, you have this mounted. This. Those are already. Oh yeah. 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 <laughs> So what goes up here is your radiator, not those fans. Yeah, not the fans. Wrong. I thought that they mounted the radiator So that's down the radiator, here. radiator That's not now? Uh, no, radiator comes last. Yes. Um, what you should do, have you taken out the central, like the middle standoff yet? That Ryan was talking about? Yeah, I, I filled them out. You, sorry, can I see it? Why do you want to take it off? I need to mount no, 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 not that. Um, no, no, no. No, it's a little it's a metal thing. Um, the metal thing? What's the metal yeah, thing? Yeah, so I just keep pushing. I was like, turn this around. Oh, this. Uh, I'm not sure why that's in there, but anyway. Uh, <laughs> the, see the center post there? This? Yeah. Oh, M, 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 M. Yeah, we need to move the one that's on underneath that down to the bottom hole. How do I remove it? You will need this. Well, you can use pliers. I was going to use my iFixit kit. Oh, yeah, yeah, you have to. Yeah, that's okay. Uh, hang on, let me just find out which one it is. I think it's this. No. This one. Yeah. Um, get a chance. So I just realized I had grabbed my laptop to do some super chats for y'all, and then I never actually did it. So let me just grab my mounting screws for my power supply, which should be in the power supply box, yep, along with some cable ties and all that good stuff. Remember, this stream is brought to you by ASUS Sonic. There you go. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and screw this in. And Gabriel Bastardo. I am sure that's not your real last name, but that's okay. I wouldn't put my real last name on the internet if I had thought of that either. Um, small love, thanks for the help. No problem, Gabe. Oh, okay, hold on a second. I'm gonna have to get back to these in a minute. I cannot figure out why this power supply isn't lining up here. Never mind, I got it. What else we got here? Uh, Solomon S, shout out. T522, you get a shout out too. Home Automation X says, we love the channel, very funny. Um, 
Oh, I'm surprised you got like a funny vibe from all of this. We were going for very, very serious at all times. <laughs> Just kidding. That's a joke. Uh, yeah, what's up? Remind people about the M.2 SSD so we don't forget. Oh! Okay, guys. So if you haven't already put your M.2 SSD on your motherboard, thank you, Colton. You're my Vanna. Um, don't forget to do that. It's a little bit easier to do while the motherboard is still outside of the case. I already did. Have the screws Good job, them. Anthony and Dennis. Do you guys want a gold star or what? I don't have one. You don't have a, an SSD? I keep telling you that I don't have an SSD or RAM. Um, I was never given SSD or RAM. Um, <laughs> are we really short an SSD and RAM? Maybe check one of the boxes. The box that the yeah, first system was in. Maybe somebody threw it in. Yeah, maybe. Oh, yeah. Or, yeah, okay. So what? Thanks, Alex. How do I install this? Uh, okay, so guys, in order, in order to install your SSD, you see how you've got these mounting holes here? Yep. So come on and have a look at this, Andy. Okay. You got so these mounting holes here? Okay. The mount is not actually installed in there. Oh. You've got to grab it out of here. And while okay. you're at it, you should grab your IO shield. You're going to need that. Yep. But this right here. So there's a little standoff. It goes in the one marked 2280. And then there's a little screw. You're going to need okay. an iFixit kit in order to screw that in. All righty. So you slot it in, put it on, and put the screw in. Got it. Thanks. Okay. So hopefully everyone caught that. Uh, that's okay, Jake can show you, Ed. Uh, all right, what else we got here? Wu Phil says, hello from Denmark. Have enjoyed the channel for years. Love the live shows. Oh, good. Uh, Ghost Potato says, Linus and your underlings inspire me to build absurdly expensive gaming computers. Can't thank you enough for that. Uh, Alexander Harvey, shout out. Uh, Steven Willis says, no float plane stream. There should be. Uh... Uh, 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 oh man. I'm pretty sure there is a little Uh, I'm gonna need a minute, Andy. I gotta type some passwords and stuff. Yeah, Go check in on someone else. Yeah. I found RAM and an SSD, so, uh, here you go. Thank you. There is a full plane stream. There's, there is a full plane stream, I guess. Am I being trolled? You're being trolled, or they're just a little bit. Or they need to contact full plane customer service. <laughs> Okay. I need to Okay, I'm checking. I'm checking. Yeah, Just making sure. Yes. There is most assuredly a float plane stream. Float plane chat is blowing up. They're like, we are fine. Someone just wanted to be noticed. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, float plane chat. Love it. You guys rock. Uh, Wabbity Wally says, Return of Channel Super Fun. And I think the timestamp from that was probably around the time we were talking about doing game streams and stuff. Yeah, I could see that happening. All right, so let's walk through how we need to alter the RGB setup in this rig um, in order to make it work for our light loop fans, which are like their super premium ones. So first, we need our Commander Pro because it's got all them RGB channels. Then we need our um, Lighting Node Pro kit here. So this has all of our individually addressable RGB strips. Corsair really does put more R&D money into RGB than probably the GDP of some very small nations. They like really give many cares about it. So uh, basically we've got four of these, which we can string all together. There you go. That's well within the limit of how many individually addressable RGB LEDs you can have on a single channel for the Lighting Node Pro, um, or excuse me, for the Commander Pro. Then, in the lighting node, we've got uh, this little hub doodad right here, which I believe we don't actually have to swap out. I believe we can still use the one that's included in the case. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, I think we don't have to use that. And then we've also got these extensions that we use to string these together and plug them into our commander. And then we've also got... Uh, this USB connection, which again, I don't think we need because it's pre-wired in the case. And finally, we've got another, this is a male-to-male, -male, this is two male-to-males. So these are extensions, these are two male-to-males. So I just want to double check my reference system. Yeah, so we can take, you can take this out. Why would I take that out though? This is the same as this. Right. Um, you don't need it. Yeah, exactly. Oh, we don't because need it at all. Because you're using the Commander Pro. That's right. So the Commander okay. Pro has LED control. Right. So this USB yes. 
dongle thing. So I can take the whole thing out. This just plugs into the commander pro. Got it. Okay, thank you, Jake. It saves me going over there and checking. So never mind, we can remove all of this stuff and we swap it all out with the commander pro. And what's good about the commander pro is it does both fan control and RGB lighting. That's right. Now I remember why we're doing it this way. A little rusty. It was so long ago that I actually did the original build, but like, I've actually forgotten a lot of it. Okay, so that means we can also pull out this RGB hub. Uh, let me double check over here. Yeah, so we're going to end up putting it back in, but we're just going to... Over here, Andy. So if you look at this, we're going to end up putting it back in, but it's going to be on top of the Commander Pro here, and it'll wire up all of our uh, all of our fans. All right. Don't trip. Don't trip, Andy. Okay, so I'm just going to pop this out. Oh, man, the adhesive they use on these things. Is, oh, never mind. It came off really easy this time. Must be the warmer weather. Remember how hard it was to remove them last time? Hey, it was pretty hard to remove. All right, so let's get our Commander Pro opened up. Whoop. Uh, uh, do you guys need a pair of side cutters? I think you gave us a pair. I did, but I have an extra pair here if you need it. Thank you. Right there. I would like to have that one back at some point, though, because I don't have, like, another, another one. So this thing's BA. Check this out. So there's our, there we go. So these LED channels can go out to a hub like this one. See that? Let me just see how I have it oriented here. It's fine. Yeah, this way. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stick that to there. Boom. And then uh, where was the where was the wire for that? There we go. So then this puppy goes here, and that goes into one of my LED channels there, and then this acts as kind of like a hub for one of these. Pretty good stuff. And then of course it can do its uh, six fans and um, oh that's neat. So it also acts as a USB kind of hub as well. So you've got uh, one USB internal header here. A lot of modern motherboards don't have a ton of USB 2 headers, so you can take this, plug it into one of them, and then you get two out of it. So that allows you to plug in, like, if you've got, um, you know, an RGB CPU cooler or something like that. If you've just got a bunch of stuff that needs an internal header, this allows you to split it. Uh, and then finally, you've got the four temp sensors. So this puppy is going to go in right here by the power supply. And then I'm going to stick it down once I've got everything wired up. Uh, you can go check in with someone else, right. I guess. What do we need I'll the, back uh, that fan controller for if we're using the Commander Pro? The Commander Pro. There is no fan controller. Oh, well, what's this one? That's an LED hub. Do we need it? Here, I'll show you. I'll show you, Ed. I actually just showed this to the camera. Oh. Okay, so you take your Commander Pro, yeah. and you take LED channel 1, and you plug that into your hub. Um, so that allows you to take just this one LED thing here and okay. control all four of your fans okay. with it. Otherwise, we only have, what, two. Oh. And we need the other one, then, for our four RGB strips that go around the windowed side of the case. Hopefully, you don't, please. Fans, strips. All right, thank you. Yeah. Oh, okay, there it is. Guys, make sure that you're not um, cross-pollinating here. Try to use your box yeah. as your as your staging area for things. He said while this stuff is all over the thing. Do as I say, not as I do, Mr. Mutsier. Sorry, Andy. And then... Side cutters, dude. I don't need help. You can't just look at me. I don't know what to tell you. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to look at that. And see, okay, that's where that we is, go. That, that's a mess. I don't understand that. That's a, what? Okay. <laughs> What's wrong with my stuff? No, your cable management is bad. Oh! oh, 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 oh. What the heck? Can, look! <laughs> How do I know? Which there. Problem? You just pull it out, and then, uh, yeah, it's a little tricky. It's a little, okay, it's a little tricky. So sassy. So trace all the wires. So Even I'm having a little bit of trouble with it here. 
I'm going to have to trace these back at some point. So, okay. okay. I'm doing exactly the same as you're doing. I'm just sizing it up right now. I'm pretty sure that's how it He put it on top of the, this thing. He should be back. Well, I mean, yeah, you can Right? Des, what are you doing? Explain. Waiting for Anthony. <laughs> Why are you always waiting for Anthony? Just go for it. I'm useless. Wow. Oh. No, you're not, Dennis. <laughs> Come on. That. I mean, you had a tech when you're not doing that right now, but you're very useful, Dennis. I, I could have been more useful somewhere else. What the heck? Dennis, you're the only person I've watched play PC building simulator. <laughs> no, you want to I think that's the only piece that I actually feel successful with. <laughs> Wait, what? No, you built Oh, the, the editing thing one. You built yes, your yes, editing machine. Yeah, yeah, editing. Yeah. 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 Your original one. And we one. did build a PC before. The other one. Um, I played it in first. I don't remember. Uh, I don't remember either. Either. Okay, you, did you? Oh, you taped it already. Yeah, I taped that down. Uh, it goes as far over as it, as you can go. Wait, how? Oh, so this side facing the. Yeah, so this this faces the front. Oh, why do I need more fans? Oh, to attach to. Oh my god. Camera person, I'm so sorry. Camera person. I'm okay. I'm <laughs> okay. It has a name. Andy. Wow, this is not fun to put on. Oh no, I need a third hand. I can be your hand, give me a second. I can be your hand. Wait, are we allowed to sing copyrighted music? Well, if you make a parody of it. Am I making a parody of it? I mean, it's kind of a joke of a performance. Oh, so yeah. Wow. I can be your wow. The Zynga. Oh, yeah. Why it. is this so hard to do? Oh my god. I am I was ever a heart significantly surgeon, I having have... trouble right now. I'm not. <laughs> I'm gonna be done before everybody else. That's nice of you to say, Colton, about Jake. <laughs> hey, look at that! Hey! Hey! Wow! Hey, Jake! Dennis, yeah, technically, he's done. Uh, he's oh, done. Done. Alex is gonna edit. <laughs> hey, Prime. Like, Whoa, what are you trying to say about A-Prime here? He's like, A-Prime? Oh, no. <laughs> He's just worried about losing Yeah, I was going to say, are you worried Alex is going to do too good of a job? No, because he has, end, he has never done it. And make you look look bad? So because he's never done it, he's going to do too good of a job and make you look bad? No. I have confidence. All right. I love the hardware that they include with... Uh, these AIO coolers, it's just like, it's like they want new users to be afraid, you know? It's great. Like, here's a zillion screws. Go ham. Honestly, though, if you have experience with it, it's not a big deal. Um, so I just need, here we go. So I just need this little bracket on here for AMD. Whoops. Oh, so there goes some of my thermal compound. Dang it. It's more a question of just like how many hands do they expect you to have once you know how it goes together. So that goes on there. Yep. No, I know. I know. I know. I know. So you put that on there. And then now I... Man, that's fine. It doesn't really matter. It's just annoying. Um... You know what, I'm just going to throw this on my motherboard now so that I don't have to deal with it later. So here you go, guys. Here's the uh, the AIO installation. For I'm just going to double check my orientation here. Oh, wow. We managed to get the logo right side up. That's pretty sick. Oh, I got thermal paste on me. I always love it when it works out that way. Can I eat it? So basically, you use the stock mount, what? and you just hook these on like this. See that? Can you see that, Andy? Yeah. So you just hook that on like that, and then you go ahead and tighten them up. Easy peasy lemon squeezy.
I really don't like it as much as the Intel mount, to be very clear. I don't like these plastic brackets, and I wish AMD would do away with them for a proper through-board mount. Um, but there's nothing I can do about it. I'm just giving the uh, I'm just giving the cooler a little bit of a twist and a little bit of a squish here, so I can spread out that thermal compound that I scratched. Now it should be fine. So now I just need to grab eight of these screws for my fans. We're not doing a push-pull configuration or anything like that, so that's all I need. And then I can throw the rest of them in my baggie and put them back in the box here. These are all just hardware for other sockets. And it's like, it's one of those things where one of the most stressful things, I think, for new users is um, leftover parts, you know? Once they're done assembling something. Well, that's okay with an AIO. You end up with a lot of leftover parts. Just gotta try not to lose any of them so that if we ever had to install these on a different socket, we would have the parts that we need. Linus, do I need new thermal paste? Uh, n it's not ideal, but yeah, no, it's fine. I, would get mad about it I yeah, I was trying to take the thing off, and then I just kind of. There's a fair bit of thermal compound on the bottom of these. It'll it'll spread out. I wouldn't stress right. about it. Um, all right. I'm honestly kind of falling behind here because I'm spending so much time sort of thinking about hosting a video and not enough time it's focusing on building a computer. I might be one of the last ones done, which would be... No, man, you need to help me. Really embarrassing. What? I just got here. All I have is RAM and M.2. I was hoping you were going to finish first and then help me catch up. Oh. No. Nope. Yeah. That's no. what Anthony is for. Yeah, but yeah, Anthony is probably going to be the first one done. I will be the first one. You're not going to be the first one done, Dennis. To count as first one done, it has to be done correctly. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that, oh. Yeah. Wait, what are you doing? Wait, have we tested that this one? Yeah. Okay. You shot a video. No, it's still not. I can tell you for one thing. How tight do you, like, is it, like, just finger tight? Fine. Uh, fairly tight. Okay. Like, don't like crank it, but it should be pretty tight. The one I like. It'll feel like it starts to get a lot more. Like, uh, like the resistance will be much higher. Cool. Yeah, that wasn't actually that hard. Yeah, no, it's actually pretty new. With that explanation, you gave me. Pretty brain dead easy. I think it's easier than stock Intel ones. Oh, brain dead easy. Uh, it's perfect for AMD users. Oh, wow. Did you just say that to like, there's like 20,000 people watching. Please crucify Ed. Yeah. Just AMD hey. fans out there, just obliterate his Twitter. What is your Twitter? I don't think AMD makes fans. <laughs> oh. Uh, they have, okay. Whatever Ed's Twitter is, I'm sure it's like Ed Yago. Just go roast the crap out of him because he doesn't like AMD. Hey, I actually really like AMD. Uh-huh. Now he's backpedaling. I never send him back. Yeah. <laughs> Just an overall bad guy, you know? And are you one of those guys that's like, I like AMD because they force pricing down on the Intel CPUs I buy. Is that where you're going with that? I have hopes for AMD to get back to their XP days so that I can be really cheap and overclock really high. You know what? I would make the argument that they're already back to the Athlon XP days. Because like Athlon XP, they were like, Okay, I'm talking later days, like Barton Ford. Athlon XP, they were like, good enough, like almost as good, but if we're speaking honestly, unless you're an AMD fanboy, not as good, but they were definitely cheaper, and you could overclock them a little bit and get a little bit of extra performance. It wasn't until Athlon 64 that they really took the performance crown, so Zen 2 could be the Athlon 64 time, but we're already at the XP times. So I would make that argument. You just did. Yeah, I just did. Thank you, James. Don't look at me, Annie. This is too much pressure. I have you already moved your motherboard stand up? Yes. Yeah. Okay. This is a success, too. You're going to hate your um, life. Wait, guys. Guys, now is the time, if you haven't already, to double check the I.O. of your motherboard and make sure that none of the tabs on the back of the I.O. shield are sticking into your slots. What? Okay? Because I think I actually bunged that up on this one. It's yeah. really easy to screw up on this particular board. <laughs> Do you have one that's stuck? Wait, I mean, this looks like it, it's uh, Yeah, that's a word for it. Yeah, that's really not good. Yeah, I also did that one. Dude, how do you line these up? Uh, does that mean that I have to undo all of the screws on the motherboard? I'm not, oh, I'm not crap, you guys both have them stuck? Bro! 
Wait, no, Colton's looks up. Oh, Colton's is off. Yep. Okay. Come on! So, guys, um, please double check that. And when you're putting it back in, if you did mess it up, um, make sure you bend back, bend back the tabs a lot before you do it again. Sorry, I wish I thought of this earlier, but I'm just doing it now. So we just stick them up right now, right? Not in this side. James, do you need me to look at it? Or? Yeah, I don't really know what you mean. Give me a sec. Or we can just four and two. Yeah, that's a pretty genuine thing in the bar. No, it's definitely not. Can I hurry? So here we're gonna oh, use uh, Andy. We're gonna use James's junior hand. I got you. Got you. Here's your headphones. All right. So uh, Andy, we're gonna use James's system as an example here. I'm just gonna turn around so Andy can see. <laughs> Basically, some on some motherboards, the manufacturer leaves these tabs um, kind of flat like this. So what happens is you slide your board in. Can you see that? The port's actually covered. Or it's, it'll have a metal tab stuck in it, which can short out and it can actually destroy the port. So you need to make sure that you bend these back. Like that. There you go. Yep. Um, there you go. Uh, whatever, you can put that in. Did I get all the, piece, the PSU cables I needed? Uh, hold on. Hold on. Those? Okay. 24 pin? Nice. Yes. Um, 6 plus 2? I wouldn't use this. I would use the two individual 6 plus 2s. Um, CPU? Yes. Um, one quad SATA? Yes. Is that one of the individual ones? Is that what you mean? Yep. So and then this one. Uh, actually, I've got one here. Okay. Yeah. So this one, and then you need one more dual SATA, and then you're good to go. Uh, those are in my hand, I think. Uh, you mean like, by dual SATA? You mean like a chain one? Yeah. Like two on. That's got four on it. So I needed a four. Okay. I've already got a four. Got a four. Yeah. This so one? Don't, that's Molex. Oh Jesus. This one. This guy right there. Nope, that's a Molex to two SATA adapter. You should have one that's just what? two SATAs. There. Is that it? Yeah, you're good. Good. Gravy. Uh, Andy, you want to grab me for a sec? It's funny. Yeah, you guys would assume that just because people work here, they build computers like all the time. Okay. But it doesn't actually work that way. So James has actually done the preparation for our build guides before. Did an amazing job. But the thing is that, and you guys would never know that it was prepared by someone who actually had to do some research in order to make it happen. But the thing is that he mostly focuses on our consumer electronics videos. So... Yeah, like a PC build is not necessarily the kind of thing that he does every weekend. So he uh, has to like look things up sometimes. That's something I think a lot of people don't realize about our jobs is that there's a lot of kind of researching things as it becomes time to make a video about them for all of us actually. Even if you've done it before, like I'll, I will become an expert on G-Sync or variable refresh rate. I'll know everything about it. It's like cramming for an exam. The script is over, it's gone. I come back six months later, I have to research a lot of the stuff again yep. to get the real details. Because like, even best case scenario, everyone on our writing team is producing one video per week. That is over 50 a year. Exactly 50 if they take two weeks off. So, and it's you, a lot. Usually, you don't do one video a week usually. Yeah, it really depends. It depends on so how much other people are pulling their weight, I think. I remember those fun times when you just totally forget something and you're like, how does that work? And then you're like, wait a second, I literally made like the resource for this thing. Yeah. And you go back and watch your own video. Watch yeah. your own video, read your own script. Yeah. It happens. Okay, so now you should be able to get it in. We'll see. I mean, so I we're having issues with the I/O here. I'm I'm just not doing it right. So what is it like the paint? Like it was the Type C is really particularly bad. I think it's right. Have Alex check. Alex. But that's. Uh, I think 
That's good. I think I had the same problem with my PC at home, and I was just like, I can plug things into it. I'm good. <laughs> Which is terrible. It's not yeah, good. That's fine. Okay, cool. All right. Let's see what you go, buddy. Exactly went wrong. It's on mine here where the things just bend the wrong way, and he just oh. gets all bulgy. So, yeah, that needs to be fixed. We've almost got the motherboard out here, so. Oh god. I told Asus we only opened like two of the boxes properly. Well, we, okay, we opened them all to put inventory tags on them, but we only used two of them. So, uh, I'm really sorry, Nick and Gary, in advance. Um, we love you guys, and we're really sorry. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's an official, official LMG stance right there. No, 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 you can't apologize. Oh, just just give Asus some love in the chat, guys. Yeah, that would be helpful right about now. And maybe like tweet okay. at them and be like, hey, Linus is sorry. Okay. Uh, well, I never said I was sorry. <laughs> okay, well, I'm sorry. No, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Asus. You made me bad. make them send them back, so yeah. you have to say sorry, too. Yeah, yeah. sorry, guys. guys. So sorry. For your story. Yeah. In our defense, so we had we had said we wanted 1440p monitors. Wait, I just can't mix them all together. <laughs> we did, right? Yeah, we did. Okay, cool. That's not our fault. Yeah. But then we're being like choosing <laughs> beggars at that point, so we should be sorry for that too. <laughs> we're just sorry in general. Okay. We are. Canadian. We're just Canadian. Yeah. We're just Canadian. Did you do fans into the radiator? Sorry. Sorry. Threw the fans into the radiator. Okay, oh so wait, each of this need to yeah, go. So I, and, Andy, do you want to get a status well, update from everyone? You need a battery. He needs a battery. Well, battery. Well, battery. 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 We need to go out to the door. Let's just do it live, whatever. How? How? I'll go over there. You guys can do it. Goodbye. I'm gonna go over to the stream. We're gonna lose camera feed for a second. Okay, guys, we're switching. We're switching to. So does that switch to my mic too then? No. Oh, okay. All right, cool. I can. No, no, it's fine. It's fine. All right, we're on the wire. All right. Wow, and oh, I think two uh, need to go out, not one. <laughs> one. one. Is the light ready? Are we gonna get demonetized? Yeah, you're good. Go, let's go. <laughs> go. Hey Jake, are you That's back? Bad. Yeah, I'm back. So bend it out of the way, yeah. And then you, everything else is fine. It's just that that one seems to be particularly uh, sensitive. Sweet, we're back. You're good. Oh, yeah. We're good. Are we back? We're back. Hey. 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 All right, good work, everyone. Hey. Hey Jake, how many people are uh, still watching? It's like twenty thousand. Wow. Yeah, Hello. there's eighteen thousand five hundred people watching right now. On Hello YouTube, to all of you. There's people on yeah. Twitch so and so no pressure point. or anything, guys, but do a good job <laughs> and all that. Uh, I hope all the people. This is going to Yo, how did you lose the fans by the second Yeah, chain, chain. Oh, I, 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 hey, Andy, do you want to go around and just do like general updates with everyone, see how everyone's doing? Sure. Oh, I guess you're starting with me? Yeah. Okay. So I've got my motherboard installed. I've got my, uh, I left my front fans in because those ones were fine in my case. Colton's was oh. weird. And, like one oh, of them yeah. Yeah. was in the wrong spot oh. apparently, so that's kind of bizarre. Oh. Uh, I've got my M.2 and my uh, RAM in. I've got yeah, my I got, CPU I got, I got cooler mounted to the motherboard, the, the but side not actually installed yet. Oh, I have to go get some side cutters for James, apparently. Oh, oh David's got them. I've got my power supply in. I've got my motherboard uh, I.O. shield correctly installed. And uh, I have wired up my fan hub to my Commander Pro, and I'm going to be ready to install it probably pretty soon. Once I get my cooler in, I'm ready to flip this up. And then I can start really wiring things up. So that's where I'm at. How many percentage? I would say I'm about 65% done just because the RGB wiring takes so freaking long. It took like a day last time. It took a really long time last time. Honestly, the RGB wiring was a big part of the reason that we haven't tackled this project yet because we were worried that these systems were going to be too advanced for novices to build. And then today, we were just like, well, we need to play video games tonight, so I guess we're just doing it. 
That that's how that's how it went down. Necessity. Oh man, I'm just uh, I'm just trying to play catch up here. I was doing tech link. Riley asked me to host, so me and Riley were occupied doing that, even though we were both were supposed to be in here building. So all I've got so far is my CPU, my RAM, and my M.2 in there. Motherboard is still outside of the case. I got my PSU housed and the first thing plugged into it, which is the 24-pin connector for the CPU. Wish me luck. Go James! Go James! We're gonna make it. We're gonna play some games. Yeah. So now I'm going to flip over this. And uh, move it out of the way so we can build the last desk. Nice. Yep. So close. 99%. Yeah. 99%. Yeah. 99%. Yeah. But they can be run series, right? Yes. Yeah. Hmm? So I had to uh, take out my motherboard to fix my I.O. So I've kind of taken a few steps back. Sounds like excuses, Ed. Fortunately, I have done full RGB actually using... Uh, Similar stuff. I was using a Corsair 1000D, so it had a lot more room, but it's essentially the same. Ah, so I have faith that I know what I am doing. I believe in you, Ed. I believe in you too. Does that make it better? Yeah. Easier? We're all in this together, guys. Uh, ah. Until the game starts, then there's two teams. <laughs> okay, why not? Oh gosh. Uh, this is a computer. Yeah, we know. Uh, I'm doing my best. Trying to learn. I'm surrounded by people that know so much, and it's excellent. I'm trying my best not to help him because I want to win. <laughs> this competition, competition that isn't here, I want to win it. I don't care. I can't believe we're putting all of these RGB things. I'm like pretty close. I haven't done any wiring though, which is gonna be That's gonna good. bite me in the, butt. in the butt. For sure. I hate these. My next build is all Noctua, no lights anywhere. I'm super into that. 100%. Okay, I went back. Um, hmm. So I've got. LED, uh, RGB stripe on, okay. all connect together, okay. routing all the cable to the back, and now I'm just chilling. Um, now you're just chilling. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, I guess at this point you could look at installing your motherboard, but uh, have you have you connected anything up to your uh, I have your RAM. There? I have RAM. I mean, on your, your hubs, you're in the back here. Nothing, not yet. Okay, so you're going to want to connect up the fans to those? Though, is that fan control? The fan is controlled here. So they have the fan plugs into the lighting node here. Okay. Or Commander Pro, sorry. Okay. And then, what plug into this thing? Uh, that goes to the LED. LEDs. Yes! I knew it. Okay, okay. Which we can route through. Oh, you know what? Dude, how do you like, maneuver all the fans? Um, yeah, yeah, we did. Uh, we are very close to. to. Um, done. Very. Okay. <laughs> I think 30%. 30? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I don't know about that. Very close, so like 30%. Maybe a little Okay, what, like, what is this for? What is this cable for? And then I think I got a, this, what's this, this cable, this uh, mini USB. No, this is the, the one with the, the bundle cable in the case. Oh, that must have been the one from the uh, the node that we took out. So that can go into the um, the lighting node that you have there. This one? Uh, no, no, no. This one. That one. Yeah. So you've already got one plugged into it. Yeah. So you can take that out and use it on the television. If I understand what you mean right. 
No? But this okay, one, I already have this one and this. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah, okay, so. What you have here, so look, where's the micro USB you're talking about? This one. What's this one? Yeah, so you can just uh, unplug this one, <laughs> this one. Okay. And take it out. Yeah. And just use that. Uh, how, what's what's going to plug into this one? Oh. Nothing. It's just left over. Oh. Because we already removed what was plugged into that, remember? Okay. Oh. Got this. Oh, what up? What up? So, me and Alex kind of took a different route. We didn't take Linus's advice to do all of the RGB lighting stuff first. So, we instead got our motherboard in. We got our RAM. We've got our AIO mounted. I think you've got actually your plate. You got this actually fully mounted. Yeah, right? yeah, you're really close. And uh, yeah, and then after this, it's pretty much just the lighting strips, and yep. then and then cabling. Cabling, and then graphics card, right? Yeah, we'll Am put I the graphics else? card. And then in. connect to everything, which is going to take like longer than everything else combined. I'm sure. Yeah, it's going to be a real pain in the butt. But Heck yeah. We're pretty well on our way. Like, we're getting if, we were, if we wanted to just do it for dirty, we could have them running in like a minute. <laughs> yeah. Can we get dirtier? What the? Yeah. Dennis, keep your shirt on. Well, I don't know. It's May 2 4. Like. Yeah, this is the kind of time where it just makes me want to go to good old Dildo Newfoundland and slam some beers. That's a. Really, quite a tradition back back in the Newfoundland. Anyway, yeah, Dildo now has a brewery. Um, good times. I'm trying to win. Sorry, I'm trying to learn how to actually put this on. I can't see as far as I can tell. What things? Uh, the the screws for the AO. Uh, maybe in here? Yeah, so what you want to do. Oh, Alex is going to show you. Great. Yeah. Thanks, dude. You Appreciate know how to like loop it beforehand and then stick it on, right? Okay. All right. Yeah, so Mr. Colton, what you want to do is take those. Okay. And you put it, you like just barely thread it on. wonder where it's going to be bad here. All right. So, I'm actually starting to come together here. So, I just finished up my front panel I.O. So, there's my front audio. There's my front USB 3, all my front buttons, so that's my power, my reset, my um, power LED and all that good stuff. So now what I need to do is take my fans here and wire them around to the back. That's how we're going to keep everything really clean because I'm certainly not cable managing the back of the motherboard tray nicely. And then I'm going to take my... Ooh, let me see. How did we do this? Uh... Oh, that's right. Okay, so this allows us to use our cooler as an RGB controller, but we don't need to do that because we have a Commander Pro. So I'm just going to go ahead and run this around back and just like get rid of it. Um, yeah, we don't need that. So that goes back there. Oh, shoot, the hard drive cage is in the way. Oh, man. Okay, I'm going to have to pull that out before I can finish doing cable management here. That's a bit of a pain, but that's okay. I can put it back in later. I suspect we're not going to bother putting all the hard drives in these now. Actually, we've got all those refurbished 3 terabytes from uh, our old server. Okay, I guess we don't really have to. Fine, 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 fine. It doesn't matter. Oh, man, how many screws do you need to undo to take this thing out? It's still not coming out. Let's see here. Oh, I hope you don't have to take one out from the other side. That would kind of bite. Oh no, there it is. There's a thumb screw back here. All right, cool. Yep, I see it. Um, no, I ran my CPU power beforehand. I just need to deal with my RGB uh, cabling for my uh, CPU cooler. Yep. All right, so this guy is going to come over here above my 8-pin. And then back here. And now that's out of the way. You can actually see over here on the example system, uh, they're just like chilling here because we don't need them because of the Node Pro. So, yeah. So I just did that. Hey, yo, stop. 
And then now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to run uh, my USB. So my USB 2 over here. And this is going to go back to the hub that's built into the Node Pro. So that's going to go back there like that. Oh man, I, got, I want to run all these together. And right now they're kind of a mess, actually. So I'm going to undo my 8 pin for the motherboard. I'm going to put all these up here, right? And then I'm going to put it back in. So this way they're all going around it. There we go. So this is, you know, jank clean cable management, right? You get, uh, you get everything just kind of run over to the back and then it looks clean from the front and nothing else matters, right? Right? The mullet of cable management. Right, everyone? Yeah. Thanks, James. Cable management mullet. <laughs> like that. It's good. You're hired as a writer. <laughs> good joke. All right, so there it is. That's all the RGB and fan control wiring. Oh, also power for my CPU cooler. Man, these CPU coolers have gotten complicated. They have like five or six wire things coming into them. Four, four actually, but still, my point still stands. All right, there we go, nice. So now, I just have to deal with the back. Oh, actually no, I'm gonna run my uh, I'm gonna run my RGB strips first. So I need to just have a quick view at how I ran these, which way I went. Um, oh, I guess I'll have to get in line. <laughs> uh, I need to see the other side, so you go ahead. Okay, I just want to check and see uh, which way I went around. So it looks like male ends um, Does it matter? going this way. Well, I'm just trying to see. That one going. Yeah, okay. So. Thank you, Dennis. So it's. Um, wait. Yeah. So it goes in here and then it's. Female end. Okay. All right. So here's how we're wiring them in. I actually like steel cases for RGB lighting because um, some strips have magnets on them, like this one, and boom, you just stick them in like that, and then you never have to worry about the adhesive coming off. So I can go ahead and wire up my next one. I'm just going to do a little like crissity crossity thing here that'll take up the slack and hide it. Run that down this side. There we go. Okay, so those two are in now. Go ahead and wire up another one. There's going to be so much RGB in here, my friends. Okay, and we're going to go ahead and uh, just kind of tuck that like that. And something like, uh, kind of like, kind of like that. There we go. Oh no! The magnets, they weren't strong enough. Okay, there we are. And that goes there. And then I got one more here that goes up this way. So excited to have this done. Okay, so I just have to remember it's the top one that wires up to the back. There we go. Chummy. 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 Okay. Never heard the word chummy until I met Alex. There we go. Really? I think it's cool. cool. To, uh, so now, so, wait. we need to take one of these wires, cables, I guess it's a, technically a cable. And yeah, so that's a male to male RGB connector doodad. So we go ahead and we take our top one. Oh. No. This was where I got confused last time. Okay. So, it's the male one. Yes, it's the, wait, what? So it's an extension one that goes into the top? How does this work? Yes, it's an extension. So it's a male to female, and then that 
that goes into wait, another female to male? Yes. Okay. Well, apparently that's how it works. So what is this one for? Oh, right. I think this one goes from the hub to the Commander Pro. All right. That's where I got confused. Okay. Uh, good. So that's a male to female. Let's go ahead and pop that in there. And then we can run that over to the other side above the fans here. Right, this was the part that I had thought maybe I should do at the beginning of the build. Because it's a bit of a pain to wire these over. Okay, so this is some advanced cable management technique stuff here. So right now I'm trying to fish this. So I'm gonna pre-kink the I'm gonna pre-kink it so that I can get around this radiator here. There we go, and then I'm gonna push it down. There we go. And then I'm gonna pull it through here with ideally needle noses, in which case I would have it already, or failing that, my fingers. And there it is. So now I just need another extension. And I can go ahead and plug that into, here we are my controller here. So that's going to be channel two. There we are. Nice. Getting that RGB wired up. Okay. Now we get to deal with the fans. These are a bit of a nightmare. Um, oh man, come on. So many wires coming out of these fans. Okay. So this is power for our CPU cooler. Uh, this is fan power off the CPU cooler so that we could power its fans off of that, but we're not going to. And then these, good. So these are fan control for our CPU cooler. You know what, actually, maybe I will plug those into these ones. Uh, yeah, but how did we do it last time? Because we should do them all the same, ideally. I guess not. Um, how did you guys do yeah, this? Yeah, we did not. We did go into the but Commander RGB. Pro last time. Okay. Okay. So these two fans here are going to go into our Commander Pro on channels one and two. Doesn't really matter what channel they go on because we can kind of dink around with it later. It matters far more when you're deciding which channel, which uh, where you plug the RGB headers into. So first though, we're gonna take our power from our front fans and we're gonna plug those into channels three and four. And then that's all our system fans now. So those are all gonna be controlled by software through this uh, USB header here that I'm gonna have to plug in at some point. And then uh, here we go. So here's our RGB leads for the tops. And here's our RGB leads for the, whoops, nope. Here. RGB, man. It's all worth it though, right? Okay, so here are our RGB leads for all of them. But we can't put these in willy-nilly because we need to know if we want to have animations run from one to the other or anything like that, then they've got to be plugged in in a specific order. So I have to go check the reference machine now and figure out exactly how I did this last time. Um, and then I guess I should probably communicate that to everyone. So first things first, we need to find the RGB lead from a fan that we can easily identify which one it is. So why don't we go with, I'm gonna undo this twist tie here, because I really need to trace this wire back to where it came from. Uh, am I actually like sticking them to the case? Here we go. Yeah. So this, okay. These two are coming off my bottom fan. Um, it's hard to tell which one's power and which one's RGB though. Oh, I have another cable tie in here. Oh boy. So who would have thought this was too cable managed? Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. All right. So here's my bottom fan again. Um, this seems to be power. Yep, that's fan power. So this one's RGB. It's all tangled up there. Okay, so that is 
channel one. Okay, so guys. Yeah. Okay, need everyone's attention real quick here. Okay. So your bottom fan on the front of the case oh. goes into port one of your RGB hub. Okay, no and then two, two three, four. Does that make sense to you? Okay. Cool. Okay. All right. Okay. So now I can take all these and trace them back to the fans that they came from. So this is going to go into one. So do I connect all A little something like that. This is going to go into two. Yes, the RGB strips all daisy chain. What? They daisy chain up until the end. You Up until the end. You're, Linus, there's a line. There's a literal line here. And your stuff is going over it. Like, uh, I'll this, take that. I'll this take couldn't that. be closer to my space. Like, can we just maybe put this in the box? You had this elaborate system. There we go. Did I even put that there? Or did you put, you put that there? <laughs> Throwing me under the bus, Andy. Throwing me under the bus. Yeah, this is That's how it's going to be, I guess. Oh, thank you. Okay. So, for better or for worse, my RGB is wired up. Looks like an octopus, but uh, hey, what can you do? Is it possible for one of the systems to not have RGB? It is not possible for one of the systems to not have RGB, Colton. All right. The, 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 the watchers of our stream here paid good money to see us struggle with it. Oh, speaking of paying good money for the stream, uh, Super Chats. I thought you were going to say sponsor. Our sponsor. Um, they are sponsors in a way. Zakuda says, is that an LTT chair? Uh, yes, it was a Maxnomic chair with LTT embroidery on it, which is pretty sick. Juan says, what's up, gamers? Tree says, Linus, please stop yelling at everyone and being rude. Yeah. I'm trying to help. <laughs> I'm just bad at it. <laughs> Harley says, how much for one of these? I have a P4 uh, with three gigs of RAM. Ouch. Uh, 225 end? Perfect which says, I, I uh, you guys should send Lewis one of these uh, chairs. His is broken. No, um, I don't know. Would he shill for LTT? I don't know, man. Um, Big Boss says, can you guys check out my cat's GoFundMe? Uh, no. Uh, unfortunately... Um, not. I don't know how that will help. Um, Other people can check it out. Yeah, uh, San Diego okay. Land. Uh, We're excited to see you outside of CES at LTX. Oh, okay. Apparently they're coming up. That's pretty cool. Uh, Raymond says, any update on potential sponsors for Scrapyard Wars? Um, actually, I don't know. Um, hey, Colton, do we have an update for a Scrapyard Wars sponsor? No, not yet. Oh. Okay. Yeah, that's your answer. <laughs> a little okay. premature to that. But Never mind. I thought we, I thought we had... I thought we not were... locked in, but we're, probably, we're doing Scrapyard Wars regardless. Oh. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so there's the, there's yeah. the update, ladies yeah. and gentlemen. Coming later um, this year. Yeah, later this year. So stay tuned. Actually, finishing the land center is a key part of Scrapyard Wars for this year because the challenge is going to be 3v3 gaming setups. You have to do the whole setup. Desk, chair, monitor, everything. And um, it's a... Uh, what? No, I think I've told them the shtick so far already. Okay, so 3v3 gaming setups. And then it's instead of coming down to benchmarks, it's going to come down to who wins a tournament. So whoever has the best rigs should theoretically have a significant advantage. They'll also just have to like be kind of decent though. Okay. So we'll see how that goes. So we're going to use the land center. Right, that's how that, that figures into it. We're going to use the land center to balance the teams and make sure that they're pretty close before we, uh, before we split off into teams. So because everyone's going to be running on the same hardware here in the land center. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and wire up my front USB over here for the, uh, for the Commander Pro. Which way does this go? Yeah, Linus' way is the faster way. Not necessarily the correct way. Linus' way is the lazy way. Alright, and then I've got all the SATA power over here that needs to get plugged in at some point. I heard the shade, I was ignoring the shade. I, uh, I, I'm not, I'm not acknowledging the shade because I don't have to. Shade, okay? it's just... 
Are you wiring up? Are you doing your cable management better or something, Anthony? Yeah, he uh, is. Yeah, it's uh, it's not that easy in these small cases. No, it's not. So you saw what I did with that other case. All right. Um, you have to wait two hours. Yeah, you're gonna have to wait till we order food tonight. Yeah, and you ignored my Actually, what time is it? It's four, man. It's four? I don't think, I don't think we're doing that vlog. Oh, I don't think we are. I guess we'll have to do it next week. But uh, James and I were supposed to shoot a video on the 100 terabyte laptop. Um, but that's clearly not happening right now because I'm not even done, let alone like Dennis. Actually, do you want to check with people? Yeah. 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 I'm doing it. Uh, I'm this, yeah. Now, um, I'm no updates because I've been doing the same thing. I'm, no I'm, I'm watching. <laughs> that is an update. What? I'm watching live stream in live. Okay. Watching Anthony, still. <laughs> well, okay, but I did say that you should try and tidy up your wires. <laughs> I'm going to do Linus's way. So. Okay, well, if you're going to do Linus's yeah. way, you can start installing your motherboard and stuff. What okay. in the heck? Oh. Motherboard. Wait, I probably should do the, what's that called, the, 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 the top thing, what's that called? Radiator? Radiator, yes. No, that goes in after. Oh. But I think I put, oh, oh, graphics card. I can do graphics card, right? Uh, no, no. That goes after. Both of those things are last. I've got everything then. Oh. No, I have, what? What, what else do I need? Um, oh, put it on now. Yeah. Oh, I thought you had to go with the uh, radiator. No, no, radiator goes last. Goes, it's one of the last things because you need to get everything else. Okay, first. so we can do motherboard now. So first thing you have to, I have to put this down. And then now uh, one thing before you put the motherboard in. You should probably, like Linus said earlier, route some SATA cables from your motherboard box. Yeah, here we go. Uh, I don't think we actually have three. I think we only have two. Yeah, we only have two. So, yeah, just put them in. Drop them to the like drive drain back here. Oh, oh, yeah, two. All right. Yeah. Ideally, you would have three, I think. Like said, I should plug into this first, right? Uh, you don't have to. Uh, probably what I, I would just put it through the case first. Or, I mean, it would be easier if you rattled it through the case before plugging it in anything. Okay. So, where do I go? On the back? Uh, well, the drive cages are back here next to the power supply. Look who showed up! Hey, it's Riley. Are it's you, Riley! Are you guys building some PCs or what? Yeah! Uh, Sorry, I was very busy. I'm probably the most busy and most important person here at <laughs> LMG. Lots of important stuff to do. We saved you one. Where is it? On the floor. Yeah. On the floor, yeah. I, I get to do it on the floor. Oh. Yeah, yeah, brother! Alright, so I'm going to put this thing. In to this. I guess this. What the? People think this my piece is not gonna work. I can show you. You are wrong, cause it will work. Like, look at that. Wait. Um, would I get a screw for the motherboard? In the case. In the case? Oh, this thing. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wait, wait, actually, one second, one second. I have to put, I need to do more, I need to hide more tables. I thought you were going to do it Linus. But, like, what? Okay, yeah. Do you do anything? Okay, yeah, yours is hanging, too. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Just yeah. Yeah. Uh, the height, the, the other side, no. Uh, you know what? Before we put our motherboards in, we should get the cooler bracket on so that this back plate doesn't slide around on us. Where's oh. my back plate? Uh, that's oh, here. Question. Yeah, there you go. Oh, shit. Um, how do I do this? 
It just we slots in. You need to... Slots in. in. Just hang, it's basically it's oh, just, there. Yeah. And then you put it in, right? Well, no. Yes. No. Hello. I'm working on RGB. Um, so it was Colton. We're trying to figure out where exactly it goes. It seems like it's a bad idea. You just put it like down here, right? Yeah, yeah, you do. Yeah. It's just like actually like moving all of the cables to make everything work now. But I've never actually wired a RGB lighting hub before, so this is new for me. Yeah. Yeah, I've wired lots of RGB before, but never one of these guys. So, yeah. Cool. It seems like it's easy enough. Yeah. Oh! Oh, that. Okay, so I'm, am I doing that first? What you're doing right now? Yes. Before we put the motherboard in the, in the computer, we want to do this. I gotta peel for you. I gotta peel. So, wait. One second. Hold on. I gotta actually. I gotta grab it. Wait. Hold on. I know. I know. I gotta. Hold on. Hold on. Where's your screwdriver? Okay. Then what did you do? Okay. You ready? All right. Ready? Ready? It's a bad peel, but fast, quick. It's quick. Oh well. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm not sure when she's ordering. I think we need to order something first. She messaged the group, ch the non-work group chat about it. Uh, yeah, I don't know. So I am oh actually god, getting that? pretty darn oh close no. here. Oh my god! What happened? What did you do? The plastic came off of this cooler, and then it smeared all over this table. The thermal paste is uh, in the swarm. No. <laughs> oh, no. Dude. Uh, we need some isopropyl stat. <laughs> and I'm gonna use this plastic bag to just. You know, this is kind of like the recycled condom joke in the row. So I'm just gonna put this back over it, and hopefully that keeps any thermal paste from getting onto this table. <laughs> it looks. No, it doesn't look that nice. It's, bad. it's just objectively bad. It's. It's not good. Are you like getting close? I'm like pretty much done. It's a shame. Oh, the GPU isn't even in yet. What do you mean my GPU isn't in yet? Look, I got GPU and network card on this uh, bad girl here. Yeah, look at him. He's just ignoring me. Yeah, look at David. He should be famous. Yeah, how's David doing? Doing fantastic. Look at that Famous smile. Smile. Oh, Famously yeah. fantastic. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh now I lost the cable. Favorite, okay? That's not true. I'm the not known. And, and when they do know me, they won't like me. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know, dude. I feel like you're a pretty likable guy. Probably more likable than I am. Oh, oh absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. 100%. That's not very nice. <laughs> That's that Andy, this is coming off no problem. One it's a miracle product. One spot's already gone. Oh no. Now, it's hard to get all angles because it's so textured. Okay, hold on. Wax on, wax off, okay? What? Wax on, wax off. I don't think so, pal. Yeah, I think so. You need wax some scratchiness. On, you want that circular? Wax on, wax off, Wax man. on, wax off. It's insufficient. I don't know. Maybe that's just on there now. Uh, this uh, this is almost pure alcohol. I'm getting fumed out here. What if I, I spit on it? Oh man, I think we're gonna have some uh, permanent damage here. A brush, maybe? Yo, uh, yeah, probably. Get the like brush. Yeah. Why not? I'm assuming I need a processor for this belt. I uh, have yeah, over here. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Grab the one that's oh, right. labeled yeah. that one you rip it off. Where are they? Rip it off the go. Uh, so the processors are over top. here. Uh, which one are you building? No, uh, I don't know. <coughs> okay, well, you better find that over. Where's the one out? Out? Where? Uh, number nine. nine. Lucky number nine. Lucky number nine. Not many people know this. The most important part of a PC is the processor. B5011, that's your CPU. Well, actually, not <laughs> right. according to our sponsor, Seasonic, oh, no. who says the heart of your PC is your power supply. Check out Seasonic. 
Yeah. Listen to Jake. Never for the Prime 1000 Titanium, this is an excellent power supply. You should probably buy one. They got SFX power supplies if you got a smaller build than this. We got a video featuring those coming out soon, so check them out. It's probably a link in the description, right, Caltane? Oh, yeah. And you just gotta sip them up, you know? Just what? sip, sip. What? And that, that's it. You can you can look away now. Wow. All right. I actually have an update for you. So I'm getting real close over here. Uh, all I've got to do is put in my GPU and network card. I've actually got, I think, everything else wired up. Um, yeah. Oh, man. This is not an ideal box opener, but I'm making it work. There we go. Oh, this is always the most fun part. You know what? No. I'm making myself wait. I'm going to do my network card first. So these are the like gaming version of their 10 gig NIC. And I remember asking them, I was like, whoa, so what's the difference between the gaming and the non-gaming version? Because I think most of us know that your, your NIC is not a huge factor when it comes to gaming. And uh, they were like, oh, well, the gaming one has a slightly more expensive black PCB, so it costs a bit more. And I was like, oh. What a refreshingly honest answer. <laughs> that's, that's tremendous. Nice job. Yeah. Love that. Love that real marketing, you know, just being real about it. So, Jake, who's going to be first, me or you? You're done? All right, well, do you want to know what the prize is? Nothing. The prize is? No, no, there's, there's actually a prize. Jake, I have something for you. Whoa, okay, stay away from me. For being first... I have to help other people. You have to do system number two, which we didn't assign anyone to. What? Uh, question. What are we no. doing for uh, SSDs? <laughs> no. Do we have a, an image to go stop? No questions. Or... Uh, at this time, no. What a tremendous... Please don't make me do this. Uh, Can you question. do that? <laughs> uh, actually, yeah. Do you want to image machine one then instead? Oh, oh. That's also a bit of a hassle, oh. hey? <laughs> it's better than building in this case again. I built my personal rig in this. Twice now, and then once for work. So this is, that would be my fifth build if I did another one in this case. Well, then actually it sounds like you should probably do that because uh, you have the most experience. Uh, okay, Jake, you're on machine no, number two. Oh, damn it. We're going to get Anthony to do the imaging thing. Or actually, we should, we should it's probably not even going to be faster. I think we need the image. You want to do the image? I don't even think we should we just start installing Windows on things. Just start installing Windows? It doesn't take that long. Yeah, all right. All right, yeah, we don't. Uh, I don't know. It might be... The thing about imaging them, though, is they're M.2, so it's going to be a bit of a hassle. It's not like we can plug in 10 drives and image them, so like we don't... We're doing Windows, Riley. Very funny. All right, all right, you guys. Settle down, settle down. So there's our 10 gig NIC. And then now I get to put the last piece into my system. Super excited. Oh, no, not quite. I have my SATA cables that I wanted to uh, run as courtesy connectors to my hard drive bays up there. I haven't done that yet, technically. Let's go ahead and grab those. Ah, ah. There we go. All right, so they're up there now. Good enough. Mother, uh, motherboard. GPU time. Oh yeah. That's always the best part. These are super weird cards. So I remembered when I was doing the unboxing, or when I was uh, dividing everything up earlier, that there was something about the cooler. And so I was trying to remember, so I kind of stuttered while I was being like, D -d 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 dual fan or something. Uh, right, I remember what's exceptional about this thing. The cooler is freaking massive. So this isn't even like a Strix or like an ROG card or anything like that, but it's got this triple thick dual fan cooler on it that takes okay. up three slots and is like just a oh. hunk. It's just a giant hunk of metal. It's unreal. So uh, super quiet. That's what I remember being exceptional about it back when we did the first machine. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna pop that over there. We're gonna pop that graphics card. Oof, right in, Get lined up, right in there. And then we can go ahead and close up this back panel piece. Just gotta get this aligned properly. Mm, yeah, okay, little, yeah, little, little push, little shove, little wiggle, and that should be on there. Yeah. 
Oh, so um, where did Matthias go? Wait, what? Did he finish making the desk? Yeah. Well, I was gonna get him to go get the monitors when he finished getting the desk. Finished oh, making oh, the desk. He'll uh, no, he'll come back. He'll come back. It's okay. Hey, hang up. Yeah, that's fine. All right. So I actually kind of lied. I still have one more thing to do here. I've got to find where my extension cables are for my graphics card and run my power to my GPU here. So I'm just going to shove this back here. There we go. Uh, oh, Matthias, were you already getting the monitors? Uh, yes, I'll do that now. Nice. All right, thank you, sir. Oh my god. OK, cool. So that's in. Get a couple extensions here. I can't tell if these are PCI. Yep, PCIe and eight pin PCIe. I want six pin PCIe. Show me that six oh, pin. Oh, you got it out. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, You're like so weird. Eight pin. Eight pin. Eight pin. Eight pin. Uh oh. Are there any six pins? Other box. Eight yeah, pin. other box. Well, I don't know. I'm. Uh, other box. Okay, third box. Yeah, box. It's not labeled. That's eight pin too. Come on. Check the what? To the right of the main box. I tried that one. There's one. Hey. Nice. Nice. Okay. And I'm a little disappointed. We actually miscounted how many builders we needed here. Um, so we're, we're short, uh, yeah, we're short one system. But that's okay because Jake has graciously volunteered to be the one to put it together. Thanks, Jake. You are a team player, Jake. Oh, hail Jake. Let it never be said that Jake is young and annoying. Oh, thanks. And uh, okay. Obnoxious. Wait a yeah. second, you're saying that right now! People do say that! Come on. <laughs> These guys. Jake is a team <laughs> player. Jake is a team player. Oh, yeah, right. No, I am being nice. I said, let it never be said. All of these things. Just don't say all of these things. Yeah, don't say any of them. They're rude. Say what? People what I say, not what I say. Yeah, that's how that's how my dad taught me good language. <laughs> my mama teached me to spell. Let's do another roast. Another uh, roast, yeah. Roast too. A lot of people have requested another one, but I think they don't really realize that that's not really how that works. You don't like you don't make it like an just like an annual roasting of me. I don't think I could take it. Like you should be a roaster for somewhere else. I, I would actually be so much less stressed out if I got to be a roaster for someone else. I was so nervous. When I sat in that chair and you got to be the roaster and I was sitting in your throne, man, you were exposed. It was all the lights in your face, nothing around you, no one sitting next to you, just you on a chair in the middle of the stage and the person on the podium making fun of you. It was actually pretty intense. So I know what you're saying. Yeah, and I do it again. <laughs> yeah, it was fun. Uh, not sure I need to do it again. <laughs> that's my uh, that's my review of being Whoa. roasted. We all learned a lot about ourselves. Sorry, what? <laughs> do I want the ninety degree one to go to the hard drive, or do I want the straight the one to the? Yeah, ninety degree one to the hard drive. I almost dropped this glass panel. That would have been bad. That would have been really bad. Okay. Six pin. Oh yeah, yeah. We're giving hard drives. Oh my god. Okay. So I have a uh, I have a wager. So wait, no, I already won. Huh? No, not that kind of wager. I have a different wager. What percentage out of conveniently ten, I guess, because one of them was already built and one of them is going to be done by Jake later. Two. So let's take let's take the the original ten. What percentage of these machines? Is going to power on first time and just, hey. work? and just work. I would say all of them. You say all of them are going to just no, work? Two. I say two don't. Okay, wait. Like, what, what are those? Okay, so go around, <laughs> go around and get everyone's take. I'll go first. I'm going to go first. Does the RGB matter? Um, 
Oh yeah, RGB matters. Okay, never mind. Oh yeah. my god. Okay. Zero. So I, hold on, hold on, guys. You gotta wait for Andy to come around. So I'm calling three. I think three of them are going to work 100% right out of the gate. And I will, I will further my wager and say that mine will be one of them. There you go. What are you wagering? Nothing. What? Just, just honor. Pizza. Honor. Wow. Yeah, pizza. He'll buy pizza tonight if he's right. Wait, yeah, he's just gonna buy pizza regardless. Oh, I'm next. Um, I think that 80%, or I think all of them will post, but RGB wise, I gotta go with seven. I think seven will be good. What? I don't think mine is going to be one of them. I think I screwed up. I think nine out of 10 will post. There's gonna be one that has like an issue, just like an unseated RAM or something. Oh yeah, maybe. I and two, no, three out of ten will have RGB that works. I don't even remember what I said now. So. I think everyone here has probably done a pretty good job. I think the system of having a really experienced person with one or two other people should solve the issue of building wrong. So I think we're all gonna be good. Give me a. Hmm? Give me a number. 10 out of 10. You have more space, but it's up to you. Oh, okay. Oh! No, but you're not paired with anyone. I think 2 out of 10 are not going to post, and I think 6 out of 10 are going to have working RGB. So 2 out of 10 are not going to post, and 4 out of 10 are not going to have RGB. <laughs> hey guys, um, this, is awesome. this is called the power supply. Uh, Linus, help me. <laughs> what, you need help? No, I don't. I'm fine. Um, oh, this is stressful. I'm just going to keep uh -oh. building and pretend you're not there. Is that, does that sound good? Okay, great. Uh, Andy, Andy. We might have made a mistake over here. Uh, uh, James. And it wasn't me. Why would, you, why would you out me like this? Okay. Look at this. Why would you out me like so, this? This is such an honest mistake that every no one can even tell what's wrong right now. Everyone's oh. like, what's, this is normal. What's up? Oh, James. I think it's close. Oh, James. That's okay. He's right. He's right. Honest mistake. It's an easy thing to do. He put the fans on the outside of the case because this case has a bit of a, like, kind of contour to it. Um, yeah, so he's going to need to pull his cooler off and put the fans on the inside. Um, that's, uh, that's a little rough. Okay. That's okay, that's okay. We all made mistakes. Um, I made one. I can't remember what it was. I'm sure I made one. Bleeding. Yeah, bleeding. No way. Okay, you can finish getting people's takes. Cool. Oh, is this about the computers? I have a feeling that only three computers will have their RGB working when they first plug them in. I think eight will post. I think that would be my guess. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. I feel like three are going to be totally good to go. One of which is going to be mine, which I think also might be the best looking one. I I haven't seen anyone else, but we've got zip ties over here, um, and probably two aren't going to post. I've had questionable luck with really any AMD processor before. They always work, just maybe not the first time. But yeah, so long. Ah, you're fine. Well, okay, I will do it. So yeah, yeah you I, did, wanna, I, did, I did that. You got the you got this on here? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So yeah, go ahead with the. You, you're gonna wanna put the fans. It's gonna be kind of weird. Um. I know it's cool. It doesn't go in like that. No. 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 Like if you look at that one, it's underneath. Oh god, uh, no, 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 like this. Oh, oh. Yeah. Like that. Yeah. But here's the thing, I don't think that the fans go here. They do not. Uh, Jake forgot to put his fan filter on, so uh, actually... But I've been helping other people... Oh, like well, hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. So who's actually first, Jake? Steve! You haven't put your side belt back on? 
Mm. I just dropped the fruit. Uh, which way does this go? Dang it. This way or this way? This way, I think. Yeah, here we go. Bring it on, Jake. Bring it on, Jake. You have those badminton fingers. Ah, I can't keep with that. Bring it on, Jake. I need one more. Oh no! The little rubber grommets for my window! They're not <laughs> on it! They must have come off in yes. the- Where's this last screw? James, give me one of yours! <laughs> Take anything you need. <laughs> come on! Where'd they go? They slipped off in here! Yeah. Dang right. it! It's, oh. And you lose! Ah. Yeah. Oh, there it is right there! There you go, James. Get back. Dang it, I didn't even realize until I got to one that did have the Ooh, grommet on that was it. Stressful. Do I have to feel so the plastic now or what? You're okay with this down here? Okay, that wire should probably go too. <laughs> I missed that wire. Okay, I wasn't actually that close. So this is one of my front panel connectors uh, that I did a pretty subpar cable management job on. So I'm gonna go ahead and tuck that back there. Yeah. Yeah. Hanging out with the guys building PCs, yeah. <laughs> I like that song. <laughs> Hanging Just out at my PC, help. watching other guys build PCs somewhere else. I <laughs> love watching a nice, muzzled guy build a PC. <laughs> oh, no Next response. Week, oiled up half naked guys. <laughs> Screwing in fans. Alrighty. I'm about to plug in something Ooh. wrong, I think. <laughs> I don't remember getting all the love. And I can't stop myself. It's going to happen. All right, so we're going to call that. Yeah, we're calling that good enough. But I do need to put these rubber things back on here. Dang it. I, that's the mistake I always make. And that's how you get children. <laughs> Woo! Wow. 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 What's up? I think most of them are going to post. I think like nine out of them are going to post, but the RGB, I think those look like going to be like one. One RGB, Anthony? I would say so. Wow, the most pessimistic. RGB, man. Yeah. What? Andy, peel time. Yes. Wait, Jake, have you peeled? No, I'm waiting for that. You're waiting, I see. Yeah, I want to keep it protected. From Karen. I'm peeling it now. That's fine. You gotta watch the peel. Don't look at me. No, I need to peel. No. He got it, he got it. Oh, okay. I'm just recycling garbage. I already peeled my top one, but I haven't done the front yet. So I'm I'm doing something that I usually really recommend against, and I am closing up my side panel oh, I did the same thing. before uh, actually testing it. Hey, uh, Jake, have you labeled your system? Uh, no, not yet. Okay, that's a very, very critical step here. Twelve. Twelve. Uh, sign it in blood? Uh, no, no need to sign it in blood, thank you. Oh. Is there a sharpie or something? Can I do that? The Table? same way I did there? Oh, uh, actually, I did a little sharp. differently. It looks a little clearer. There's a sharp in this room. Oh, People keep there. picking up my, uh, my RGB lighting over here, though. All right. So that's it. Um, oh, are you just writing on it in Sharpie, Jake? I brought a label maker. Jake. He can't find the label maker, so. It's right here. All right. Well, that is easy. All right. So uh, LAN 1, I think, is already labeled. So LAN 2. Land three, land, yeah. oops, four. I hate this label maker. Why? So the reason I'm doing all of these, because it wastes so much label oh, every like time. Oh, that tail it has on the end every time? Yeah. Uh, Jake, I'm printing labels. No, oh. I'm making labels. <laughs> You're what? Making no, I'm making one for you too. Okay. Well, wait, what are you doing? 
slice my own labels, okay? What? No, no, don't. Why, why would you? I'm making a nice one. Make them uniform. Jake, you're killing me here. You're killing me here, Jake. Come on! Really? It looks nice. It does not look nice. How many 12s did you make? I did like eight. So I just did one like this with all of them. Oh, I see. And then we can print as many copies of this as we want. That is going to be messy. Do I need this? It's not going to be messy. It's going to be fine. No, you don't. Nice. Okay. Who keeps setting this to have a long tail on the end of it? Why would anybody do that? I don't think anyone would intentionally do that. It's just no one knows how to use that thing. Ah. Um, tab length. No, not this one. Ah, what is it? Is it margin? Yeah, yeah, it's margin. Here. Not full margin. Narrow margin. Never set it to full margin. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. It drives me crazy. I swear, people must do it just to trigger me. Um, all right, so I'm land three. So I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, who has uh, land two? Oh, that's going to be Jake. Uh, Jake, you can have land two here. Wait, I'm land 12. I know, but you're also land two, remember? Oh, God. Yep. Don't give me those yet. There you go. I don't even want to think about that. Uh, here's land 12. If you can put this on your case, that would be swell. I'll put it over top of my existing land. All right. Uh, okay, I'm going to do land three real oh, quick here. So the idea is that we're going to label everything that goes in the land center so that people don't steal it for like a shoot or a project or whatever else. So land three. Nice. There it is. Clean. All right, who's number four? What? Who's number, who's number four? What? Okay, someone should oh, be number no. four. James. James? What did you? You're number four? What? Okay, oh, here's your label. It goes on the I back of your. I am number four. Tower right there. Uh, Excellent, uh, numero cuatro. All right, who's number five? I am. All right, Alex. Who's on the back Land of your case? Who's number six? Oh, my God. Uh, what the hell? I am number six. Back to the case tower where I put it. Okay, where am I? I've got to orient myself. This is the top. Seven. Uh, four, baby. Did you just drop your cooler? It's safe. Wow, Dennis, you are really far behind. Am I? So am I. Well, I'm done. Do you have your RGB wired up? Yes. Okay, that helps a lot. Uh, who's uh, eight? What did you take get the nail? This nail? Here? Those screws came yeah, from the cooler. Eight. Okay, cooler. I'll, I'll be uh, who's nine? Hey. Riley. Is that present? I have a label for the back of your oh, tower. This is not easy. You say made by Riley, so no one expects much of it? Right there. Nope, it just says land nine. Uh, who's ten? Is that the one we didn't we didn't build? Uh, nope. Ten is Ed. Okay, I guess I'll do Ed's. Where did Ed go? He's getting our food. Oh, he's getting food. Yep. Oh, does he have to like go away for it? Uh, or? He's no. getting delivered. Oh, okay. Wow, the food's coming so early. Oh well, no, gonna... we had not had lunch. <laughs> when, you say, when you say our food, you mean you and Ed? You mean Ed? Yeah, oh. not not you guys. I see. <laughs> uh, who's got eleven? Lan eleven. Eleven, Dennis. Okay, here you are. Do we know where the mouse pads are? Uh, yeah, the mouse pads should be in the boxes. Oh, okay. Yeah. Should be good. Where's the third side? Should be? Uh, no, you right. can find where everybody else is. <laughs> like, this is in the hospital. Okay, so Jake. The CPU fan, or the pump? Yeah. Do you want to plug into the motherboard? The rest of them is the better board. Okay, so here's the plan. Uh, Jake is setting up a test station over there where we are going to take the finished machines, set them up with a monitor, make sure they actually post, check their RGB and wiring and everything, Install windows. and then seal them up for good. So that's our, that's our current plan. What I need to do though is I'm going to go ahead and box up any accessories that I have left over from my build here. 
Um, that can go in there. Just any kind of junk and packaging can all go here. I think I got everything. Like, I think I'm good. I'm kind of afraid to be that confident, but um, yeah. I think I'm gonna unbox my, uh, my keyboard and mouse and everything now. So do you want people to bring their peripherals over to that station or should no. I start setting up peripherals on tables well, that are not needed? Wait. Right, because this is... We need to keep everything together or we should just wait. Okay, so... I'll have them set up here. I'll have two sets, but everyone else should just wait. You know what I could also do though, actually? I could go around and I could label the seats. So that could work. And you can put the peripherals on And then the I can put the right peripherals in the right spot. On the chairs. Um, on the chairs. Yeah, just put the peripherals on the chairs. Put peripherals on chairs. Because you're labeling the chairs. And we're labeling the chairs oh, too? Oh, labeling the desk. Yeah, no, I, I was see. thinking the desk. That way when we rearrange everything, it'll kind of make I sense. I got you. You said label the seats, so. Yeah, sorry. I meant label I, the, yeah. I was thinking this literally. Yeah. Matthias, did you bring over all the monitors? Uh, yes, we're in the set. We're all there? Nice. Okay, so this is going to be seats three and four then, where I'm oh standing. Uh, moment so, of truth. Oh, is this it? I don't have okay. a Windows Drive yet. Don't miss this, Andy. Should I get a Windows Drive first? I think we just try it. Hello? Ah, full RGB. Heck yeah. Look at that rainbow. Woo! That is just gorgeous. <laughs> yas, Quang! Yas! Watch it not post, though. <laughs> right. Everyone's a fan. It's Ryzen, you never know. Just your delivery. Display port? Yep. Not good. <laughs> Yay, it works! Yay. Woo! So nice. one, one of 12, or one of 11, because our 12th one already works, right? Our number one already works. Yeah, the one already works. So one and 12 are functioning. New CPU installed. Enter setup. I don't have a keyboard. Cool. So Zynga. Crazy. Oh. The keyboard right here. Um, I need my keyboard. Don't, don't yeah, you keyboard. might as well do that. So what number is yours, Jake? Uh, what, like station? Yeah. 12. So just print like a ton of land 12. Uh, well, actually, I was thinking I'd just print a ton of like all of them. Oh. Right? Is anybody, no, but nobody else is ready, right? Yeah, but I could just give them to people. All right, that's fine. Okay, I'm just going to figure out it how It would be easier for me if you gave me a bunch of land 12s, but... Um, okay, well I can I can print out a bunch of. Well, why don't you tell me how many you need? Keyboard, well, mouse, we'll need yeah. keyboard, mouse, keyboard, mouse, webcam, monitor, headset. Um, what else do we have? We already did the tower. The actual desk. Six. Sure, desk. So that's seven. Seven. Okay. So I'll do like five more for now. And then we'll um, we'll do another I one if we need it. It's seven or eight. Okay. Yeah. And I'm I need like a garbage can because I'm gonna have oh, labels have Type C dongles, right? Because we don't have enough USB ports. Oh right. Yeah, they're all right there. Oh, oh that's labeled. annoying. They're already labeled. Are they? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah, they'll be in the back. It's fine. Whatever. This is great. Check this out. Oh, we need like labels for the. Dongles and stuff. The USB dongles. Oh, yeah, those are different though. You made that so hard on yourself. I did not. You should have just done the same number for like 10. And you could be like, here's your whole yeah, string. Oh, yeah, that would have been better. Now you have to chop this all up. I said that like three times. Yeah, that would have been better. It's done now. Say la vie. It's well, you done now. Stop it. No, it's fine. Oh, no. <laughs> I got this. All right, so here we go. I'm going to yeah, make. I'm making 13 piles. Scrap. One, oh boy, two, oh boy, three, this is going to take a long time, four. That's me, end it. No, I got this, I got this, five. WAN show is definitely not going to be on top. Oh, what time, when's WAN show? What time is it? Minutes. 20 minutes. 4.42. What? Uh, it's 4.42 oh. right now. Are you joking? Yeah. Uh. Are you serious, sir? You're done, Lance. Uh, yeah. No, no, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go. It's I'm gonna. Over. No, no, we, we got to do Wan Show. We got to do Wan Show on time. We, <laughs> do Wan Show from one of these PCs. And uh, I don't think it works that way. Um, so okay. Just bring Luke over, and he can finish the last of some. Um. 
Yeah, just make this WAN show. Sorry guys, this is WAN show now. New WAN show, new and improved. Um, yeah, no, we are gonna have to bail on this at some point here. Yep, okay. Maybe we'll just do like, we'll just stream all day, right? So we'll just do an after party after this and finish it off. So we'll come check in with you guys after WAN show. Does that sound cool? Is everyone, everyone watching the stream cool with that? Yeah. Hope so, I should probably do some super chats before we wrap this. That system's working perfect. Real close. Let them see. So we got both sticks of RAM. We got eight gigs and eight gigs for a total of 16. We got our pump is pumping. Our 10 gig NIC is functional. We can see we could boot from it. We're not gonna do that. And we have our SSD. So everything is perfecto. And I just need a, a boot drive or a boot USB. So I'm gonna go get that now. Oh my God. Oh, well, my box got four. What? Hmm. Wait, what? I have two. Oh, did someone did someone not have RAM? I, I doubt it. First. I don't know where you got it. Uh, okay, well, uh, wait, what? <laughs> Riley, do you have RAM? Uh, yeah, RAM, dude. You've got RAM? Uh, uh, well, I'll just put it back on the shelf then. Yeah, throw it on the shelf. Does anybody not have RAM in their computer and didn't realize it till now? What's this about? <laughs> I can have more, right? I mean, it's really great, but I need to I need to get some instructions. Linus. Yeah. There's a cord going into the fan, and there's a cord coming out. Oh, they both come out. They both come out. Yeah. Gotcha. So one of them is for RGB, and one of them is for actually being powered. Okay. That solved. That that explains everything. Oh, there! Oh! I was using this to open the box. Because I couldn't find a knife. I need to win this, otherwise. Oh, wait! Oh, it was here. I thought I lost a bit. Well, I lost my screwdriver. I don't know where it went. I am my writer screwdriver. I think I'm pretty behind, I, I think. I feel like I'm pretty behind too. Oh, come on. Hey, I'm just trying to route some cables in a nice way after the fact. So I probably should have thought about this first, but never having used this cooler before. Many issues occur. Hmm. Yep. Nope. It's not gonna go that way. Um. Okay. I have the cooler. Okay. Done. Um, I didn't plug this in though. I don't know. I go all the way back, right? To with one to the motherboard, right? One, d um, what are you, what are you looking at right now? This cooler thing. Yeah, so all of these go back. Okay. Okay. Uh, where was I? This is why I'm so far behind, actually. <laughs> I'm not blaming you. I'm just saying that, like, every time I had to, like, break my concentration, I just... <laughs> oh, man. I'm sorry, Anthony. It's not a race. Don't worry about it. I'm just saying. It's tough to teach and do at the same time. <laughs> and I'm not doing a very good job of teaching. So. Uh, okay, I go all the way back and plug in to the big one. Yes. That is our fan control. Does, does it need to be like. By, uh, which order? Like which number to go with? Uh, check Linus's other system. That one will tell us. Yeah, I actually forgot to plug in the sense header for the pump. 
So, yeah, I am basically done. I just want it to look half acceptable before closing it up. So we've got like, you know, some zip ties, so this comes along the back, kind of nice, and it's going to be a mess still, but it's going to be less of a mess than it could have been. <laughs> Uh, besides that, just the GPU, and we're good to go. Okay. Yeah. Now I just need to mount this then. Yes. Now, do you know how? I do not know. How? Okay. Well, there are. It doesn't just stick on. Um. There is a, uh, hmm, how do I show you? Because I currently have mine on. Do uh, you have the bag of screws that came with the cooler? Okay, so what you want is two of each of yes. these in here. So this goes in the bottom and it hooks on to the, the hooks that are on the motherboard. And then you just screw this down to tighten it. So just, okay, so what you can do is you can start it off, put the hook down on the bottom, yeah, that, and screw that on a little bit, okay, and do the same thing on the other side, then you hook them in, and then you just screw it down. Where, where's the, uh, do I still have all your screws? Yeah. Mm, is that yours? Yeah. No, I don't think it is. Oh, you took it back? I mean, you can take a look. I don't see the hook in it. Oh, no. I I oh here. It back to you. Yes. Where is my? Oh. It can fit pretty much full size everything, except the motherboard. Yep. Can't fit that. Hello? Although, they, don't they have one now that's bigger? Uh, I think so. Yeah, there's like a oh, one like that a has another fan, one. and it's a full size. That would be big for a have lunch? Yes. Okay. Now I have a new well, lease on life. I thought I was going to give up. Uh, oh. Now I can keep it. Yeah. So Dave and I just had lunch. We hadn't had lunch today. Um, our McDonald's is over there. You haven't had lunch yet? What? Uh, do you want? Okay, well, I only have one <laughs> sausage McMuffin. Oh, that's fine. I'm good. Candy, here you go. Thank you. Eat on the go. Oh. Well, there you go, Andy. <laughs> There's your lunch. Rice for the lunch. Uh, so now I have to catch up because I was eating. You're weak, Ed. <laughs> You're weak. You gotta eat. I wish I'd eaten. Yeah, normally you don't eat lunch. You can eat when you're dead. <laughs> There'll be plenty of time then. Plenty of food, I guess. <laughs> Do I need these things? Oh! Uh, I think some of those things. Pops. Uh, uh, yeah, you might need to hold it in Jake place. Jake will help you when he returns. <laughs> yeah, I pop up. Actually, I can oh. look out for you. I've oh got... God. No, I can't. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. I can figure it out. I'm a very smart boy. Wow, uh, this is not very easy. Oh, that thing should be way closer. Oh, that's definitely helpful. I didn't yeah, know about that. You can just move it over to you and James now. That's going to probably save me some time. Yeah, you can use the reference. Andy, do you, you want help eating? Just going to take it over. <laughs> no, no, I'm good. I will eat it for you. Uh, mail is going to go to the back. Okay. Right. And it's supposed to have the extension first, right? You can put it in after, but I... Yeah, you can put it in before or after. My piles, okay. Riley! Oh. My, my perfect piles! My piles! I'm so sorry. 
god. My piles, you ruined my piles. It's okay, they're not too Andy, bad. And you get a shot of the piles. I can't see without my piles. Okay, so I'm labeling oh, all god. the land three This parts. is the reference system? Yes, that's the reference what? system. Why? Look at this. Why? What about it? Yeah, number one. Yeah, I get it. But look at this. Come here. This is the reference system. This is what we're supposed to uh, achieve. Aspire towards. Aspire towards. <laughs> it's spaghetti. <laughs> it's and, spaghetti. And do you not like spaghetti, sir? I love spaghetti. Exactly. Somebody touch my spaghetti. But this is not the normal color that I'm used to. That's the. Uh, like you know, I've realized. Pie. I've realized now why I've been having trouble with this, because I'm a simple man. You know, give me some normal components, I'll slap those together. What do you, you mean know? by normal? Oh, dang, you're right. Take a hike. I need to reframe my, uh, my question. Oh, no. And this, um, this is a go-to motherboard. Okay, I'm trying to figure out how to think. Oh. What do you wait like, for? Where the, the cooler, this thing. That does oh, not the, go to the motherboard. That's the that's power, power supply. supply. Yeah. So, this going to mod the. Uh, no, that power supply too. What? That one? Mm -hmm. No, the, the small one that comes off, that one goes to the motherboard. What? Where? The CPU cooler, uh, just above the CPU cooler, I believe. Above. Oh, there. Yeah. Okay. Well, at least mine is pretty neat and tidy on the inside. That's all that matters, really. I don't think it's there. So I am just applying all my little labels here. So this way we'll know if anyone steals a component where it came from. There we go. Land three. See? Land three, land three. I'm gonna go ahead and put that there. Still gotta do my microphone and my wireless mouse. Oh, my headset. Oh boy, I've still got a lot of stuff to do. I'm not going to bother with the um, mouse okay. pad. Or should I bother? No, I shouldn't bother with the mouse pad. Um, did I not get a mouse? I don't think I got a mouse. Were we supposed to get hard drives? Um, the, I, the plan was to have hard drives in the systems, but um, we didn't get hard drives. So uh, that's where we're at on that. So what was the order? One, two, four? Yep. Okay. All right. So I'm going to do my pro wireless here. Nice. Actually, I think I got exactly the right number of labels. No, I'm one short. Shoot, I'm one short because I wanted one for the actual spot on the desk. LAN 3. Gorgeous. Power that on before I get confused. And then I also need to... There's no dongle in this mouse. Why is there not a dongle in this mouse? <laughs> it doesn't come in the mouse. It's in the box. Oh. Okay. Oh Last man. Age, we didn't have I was freaking out there, guys. Freaking out, ladies and gentlemen. Relax. I'm chill. I'm relaxed. They'll send us the mice, not the dongles. All good. No, we can't get replacement <laughs> dongles, though. So. Yeah, guys, that's not a thing. So, okay. This one, I found. Oh, you can buy them. Oh. Can yeah, you buy them? You're fifteen dollars. Fifteen dollars. So you, uh, you buy them specifically yeah, I, for the mice. I think Andrew's not, looking for them, so. But they can be. Yeah, I saw them in nine oh three. You can buy them in nine oh three bundles. Okay. There we go. So, what's going on? There we go. Okay. So there's my dongle. I'm gonna need to do up a smaller label for that. Right now, I'm just gonna throw that in the mouse so that it's safe. Here's my mouse pad. Do I have a mouse yet? Do you have a mouse pad? A mouse yet? Yes. Oh, I guess I could just get it. Yeah, just go get your mouse and grab your labels here. Oh, sweet. Oh, lordy. Oh, you actually, like, did it. I'm proud. What do you mean I 
actually did it. What did you think was going to happen? Oh, is Lancho ready? <laughs> no, I haven't checked it. Uh, okay, uh, I should not really do that. It's probably fine. Donald got it ready. Uh, it's probably fine. Donald got it ready? Yeah. Did he do? So. Did he do a good job? Uh, not, not, I'm not doubting him or anything. I'm just asking. It sounds like that's what you're doing. I'm just asking questions. So we're going to plug into dongles right into the PCs, Uh Yeah, dongles right into the PCs. We'll the cable there to the mm -hmm. Dongles into the monitors is probably fine, too. Uh, let's see if this one, right? Uh, okay. Wait, wait, wait. I don't think this monitor has a hub. This, oh, wait, no, we, but we're getting a different monitor. Ah, right, which so it might have. Yeah, one. I think the one that's yeah, coming does have a hub. Let's just plug it into the back of the PC. Right? Fine, back know, of the PC. Uh, uh, where did we decide we were putting the labels on the headphones? Outside or inside? Okay, I'm gonna do it on the. Yeah. Okay, you're right. Okay, I'm gonna put it visible then. So there. Dongle adapter in the box? Yeah, I left mine in there. I didn't grab the cable out of the box. How much does that matter? Need the cable? Okay. Hey, Dennis, did you use all four of your uh, yeah. strips? Yeah. How'd you do that? Just go around like. Oh, twice? twice. Or one, two, three. What's that? And one, yeah. two, yeah. three. Yeah. I'm just uh, tidying up back here. Uh, probably soon time to actually. Right, the next thing I'm going to do is wire up the power supply. Colin, what's that? Is that sharp? Let's try it. I'm furious. Oh my gosh! It's actually, is it? we shouldn't have that here. <laughs> this is not. It's a weapon. No, it's not. It's, it's, it's not sharp. Well, which are they, James? Stupid or awesome? They're yeah, stupid. Stupid awesome. Well, I've been done right now. No, 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 eat it if you're, if you're hungry. Just eat it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna feed you now. Andy, here you go. Here you go, Andy. <laughs> peripherals over on my desk for where we're going to put all the labels. So please do it exactly the same way, oh, except I'm maybe align them a little better. I'm free balling it, so. so um, like, okay. Well, like, I have 12 on the bottom of the mess, right? Yeah, that's fine. And then, um, that happens to be in exactly the same spot. Yeah, I put it on the label that's already there. Don't forget to do the wrist rest. Yeah. Oh, so we're definitely going to need more then. Uh, yeah, we only need, I think, one more, though. We need one for the uh, headset. Yeah. I, oh, I was just going to plug it in wired. Why do USB for that? Why? Oh, wait, they're not all the same. Is the Pro, uh, is the Pro wireless? Are those, is there 12 of the regular ones and like two of the Pro? Yeah, this isn't wireless. Oh, okay. I don't think. Uh, unless I'm like, like the wires in there. missing something here. Really? Yeah. I kind of regret it. Okay, yeah, nope. Uh, so yeah, there you go. This one doesn't have one. Um, so close. I just need to put LAN 3 on the front of the desk here. Ah, and then I'm good. Yeah, I was going to put it on the edge. Um, no, I want it to be immediately visible. It hurts the aesthetics a little, but not that much. Okay. There we go. 
So it should be like a five and a four. Five pins and then four pins? Yeah. Uh, so the five pins is the top pin, the top row. Okay. And how about the, the, this two, same one? Like bottom? Which one is that? What does it say? Reset switch? Yeah. That's uh, bottom right. Bottom right? That, this. Should be three sets of these twisted wires. And that would be the power switch. Know. Where are they? On the other side. They're kind of in the way else otherwise. Alright, so all the mics that we have aren't actually going to sit on the desk. We're going to have like a shelf over there somewhere and you would just go pick it up if you want to use it and plug it in and then you can start streaming. Because they're kind of in the way otherwise. Yeah. I'm trying to take a webcam out of here. This is the sweet Logitech Brio 4K. Ooh, look at that peel. Gorgeous. So dead. It is genuinely for a webcam, like surprisingly good quality. And like as a streamer, it allows you to punch in even. Oh, we're doing things. Are you done? You ready? And when you're streaming with Logitech Brio 4K, because it's added resolution, you can punch in like four times and it's still 1080p. Um, you know, if you're doing streaming things, maybe you set that up on your stream deck to... Again? That's a fresh install. That doesn't sound good. Sounds like you've got a bad USB, Jake. Maybe. That's like a, that's an expensive one. That's like a 512 gig USB. Weird. Okay, guys. Um, couple things. First of all, everyone watching the stream, thank you for uh, bearing with us as we've struggled through building these machines. Uh, some of us are done. Uh, some of us are going to continue to struggle a little longer though while we do WAN show. So I have to go do WAN show, but also an announcement for you guys. Uh, you need to put labels on all the peripherals and everything that go with your computer, um, as well as the back of your tower itself and the seat where your uh, station will ultimately be. So this is LAN 3 already, which means that this is going to be 4. So whoever's 4, you're here. All of your labels are here in a pile. There are going to be some things you can't label. If you have a really small wireless receiver dongle, for example, like the one in the G Pro Wireless, you're going to need to use the paint pen that Jake has to write LAN whatever number it is. We don't want to get, let these get lost because they're expensive to replace if we can find them at all. Everyone cool? Yeah, all right, but... so thanks for watching, guys. Thanks to everyone who sent over this hardware. Hopefully, we're going to have like a gaming stream or something later today. I don't know. Let's do it. Uh, yeah, we could, we could maybe do that. And then um, thanks to Seasonic for sponsoring this video. So they've got their 1,000 uh, watt. I'm trying to find one. 80 plus platinum. There it is. Prime titanium. It's down there somewhere. Uh, it's modular. It's freaking awesome. It's super efficient. Go check it out. The link in the video description. And that's it. Goodbye, everybody. This will never be finished. And thanks, Max You'll Nomic. finish, Dennis. You'll finish, Dennis. Here. And everyone else. All right. There's what? Skip Wancho. We can't skip Wancho. Wancho's a tradition. Don't worry. We'll be live again in like a couple minutes here. Don't worry. It's all good. Yeah, we'll be back, ladies and gentlemen. Bye, everyone. Bye. See you later.